What's going on, guys? This episode is brought to you by Manscaped and the Lawnmower 4.0 package. If you use code RBP at checkout, you get 20% off and free shipping. Go to manscaped.com backslash RBP to get the 4.0 package. I'm going to show you exactly what's in it. The 4.0 package is the ball toner and ball deodorant to make sure your junk smells good for your significant other. Get the nose trimmer to make sure you got no hairs and stragglers hanging about. And you get the 4.0 trimmer to make sure your junk is clean. I've had no cuts and no issues with this. And actually, it's pretty cool. I've been using it for my arms and legs as well. So it's a really good trimmer that way. Uh, you also get this really cool leather carrying bag and you get a pair of boxer briefs that are very comfortable. Uh, also new, Manscaped has come out with a body wash. This stuff smells really good. Uh, it's probably better than the crappy soap that you're using. So check out manscaped.com backslash RBP or use code RBP at checkout and get 20% off and free shipping. Thanks, guys. Sometimes. Do you, do you get what I'm trying to say? It's almost like yeah. there's, a, there's a group of people that are like, I told you so. Yeah, they're the, the, the told you so group. Yeah, it's like, Okay, man, look, so Sean Roden passed away last week or a few days ago now, and I put up a bro chat yesterday, but that was from last week, so it hadn't happened yet. So I guess we'll discuss it today. And I kind of wanted to wait for Guy to come on because Guy was close friends with Sean Roden, but I'm just yeah. looking, I was just looking at a comment that popped up and it just made me think like, so bodybuilders know that doing super supplements or whatever you want to call them have risks we're not like we're not like stupid right. ab about it but inevitably when something happens to somebody there's a whole group of people that are like i i told you so i told you it would happen and i'm like how can you be happy like are you more happy to be right than you are upset that someone passed away uh, yeah, that's exactly what it You know is. what I mean? Like, and it's fucked up. Like someone, someone passed away. Someone has a daughter, a family, a wife, a mother, whatever. And your, your sole concern is like to be, told you, yeah. Apple. Yeah. I told you this would happen. That's a fucked up. That's a fucked well, up person, man. When he died and then I did that guest posing, I, I got a million of those comments saying I'm next. <laughs> And it's just like that's it's why 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 even say that? I just don't understand it because you know you're a grown man. You know you know what you're doing. You you have a doctor. You have a friend. You have a coach. Yep. Um, you make your own decisions. You know, like, and it's different if somebody. Um, you know, like I've I've gotten these messages over the last like two or three years. Ever since I discussed like my kidney issues and whatever, I've yeah. got I've gotten people who like care message mm -hmm. and say hey man you know you don't have to do another show like you've done everything you, you want to do like we don't care if you do another show like right. just worry about your health mm -hmm. those, those kind of people like i respect they're like actually feel like they're genuine you know what i mean and then you have those assholes yeah who don't really give a shit they just want to like say something they want to like make you feel like shit about yeah. your issue yeah yeah so did you know sean at all or no i did not as well as like God did, but I did, yeah. Um, I know a lot of people. That I find it the other thing that was strange was um. So I put a post up like the day it happened. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't know Sean really well. Like we were on SciTech together, and we had a few conversations, but like we didn't yeah. talk on we didn't talk on a phone or nothing like that. Yeah, but he was always very polite to me, and always like very genuine, always very supportive, like didn't ever have a bad word to say about anybody or anything. And uh, so I put up that post and it was weird. Like in the comment section, instead of people just like saying something nice, not even that I told you so group, but people are trying to find out why. Like, no. oh, like, oh, it must've been the vaccine. Oh, it must've been COVID. Oh, it's all because of the drugs. Oh, it's because he's too big and weighs too much. And I'm like, like you know just give it a day uh, man just give it a they want to know everything it's like relax 
but I understand wanting to know everything, but like, give it a day. Like it had literally been like a fucking hour. And people, found out I like 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It's a uh, guy called guy called me hysterical. Like I, I've never, I never really like heard him like that. And, uh, well, so he came to the guest posing, yeah. um, that I was at cause he wanted to hang out mm-hmm. and you could just, he was a mess, man. Like how was he at the guest posing? He was kind of lost. You could tell he was very upset. Like his eyes were like red as shit. Yeah. But I'm happy he came because, you know, we went to the Cheesecake Factory afterwards. And, you know, he, you can tell he enjoyed himself. It cheered him up a little bit. Like you yeah. can tell he started to have fun, which, you know, I'm, I'm happy he did. Got his, mind, got his mind off things a little bit. Yeah. I think it's uh, going back to what people are trying to like guess. You know, it's funny is it could be, it could have been, it could have been all the above literally yeah. like nobody knows you know could have been and that's the thing people like always try and point you know like when you know when, whenever dallas or luke or anything happens like this like people are always trying to guess and it's like sometimes it's more than one thing you know so i always want to you know the typical answer when it probably sometimes ain't even has nothing to do with it it's funny because dante uh put up a post saying that we're all silly for thinking not we all because i didn't i didn't mention it but people who think it was the vaccine are all silly because uh it has nothing to do with the vaccine and all this stuff and i'm like maybe it doesn't but there are a lot of unexplained heart attacks all of a sudden in other areas too not just in bodybuilding like i've been looking up like other sports there's a women's soccer player there's a men's soccer player yeah there's like so people, dr victor prisk's video if you didn't watch it you should why what does it say hi guy how are hey, you by the way what's up buddy um somebody sent it to me last night because i don't watch anything and he were like you should watch it because he does a very detailed explanation of why athletes are passing away having to do with just having bigger hearts from being athletes and it's not like and obviously bodybuilders doing what we do but the COVID and the vaccine thickens your blood and, and they're just seeing adverse side effects with just athletes in general, not just bodybuilders. I just hate the fact that every time somebody passes away in our sport, it's up oh, steroids. Yep. Well, I mean, it's, a, a, yeah, you do have to admit though, it is a, a, a main culprit. Like it is, it does have something to do with it. I, I mean, I, I think there's, it, depending upon who you are and how you abuse it, it can definitely attribute way more, way less. Well, um, the, the thing I tell people is it's, when people say it's steroids, I always tell people it's kind of indirectly steroids. I, I personally think when, you know, I don't know what these, with this recent, the three, you know, John, Sean and George, I don't know if it has anything to do with pandemic vaccine. I don't know about any of that. All I know is I think indirectly being overly muscular and big for extended periods of time is hard on the body. So yeah. it might, so it might not be directly the drug. It might be the symptom of the drug, which is being huge. But the my issue is now, like, I'm not even going to say who, because I, I'm, I'm, I'm just in a point where there's a certain individual who is just, I'm just waiting to, to, to stand in front of, but. I think um, I know, I think I know you're talking about, because I saw the video and he's. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, well, he posted something about me today and then blocked me. So he's going to catch a one-on-one words with me because he posted literally something going it looks like a check form and it, it's what, what it, it said uh it said yeah, i'll tell you what it said he posted literally about about my best friend that died he had the fucking audacity to post this oh, it's like a checklist it, oh it's a oh it's a checklist about being butt hurt oh my god oh yeah he crossed so it, many lines and, and i got on an interview last night with a cedo sergio stan Chris Lewis, Brad Rowe, and Palumbo. And Stan sent me the link and got me on. And after I got on the video, I uh, went off. And the video just posted. And, and Dave Palumbo, for once, did the right thing. Well, not for once, but this time with this interview, didn't edit a thing that anybody said. And every one of us went off. Oh, yeah. Hurt feelings report. Date of hurtfulness time. What caused the butt hurt? What tissue was needed for the tears? Will you be able to move past it? Reason for filing the, uh, the report. I'm an idiot. I'm a crybaby. I'm thin skin. I'm a little bitch. 
my best friend passed away and that's the scumbag shit you're going to post Sean Ray. I can't wait to get in front of you, bro, because I'm telling you right now, I said it in the podcast. I said it on my fucking story. You poked the wrong fucking bear in the wrong cage and I will fucking have the final say you fucking piece of shit. Just fucking wait until I see you in person. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He's if- a piece of shit. That's it. He's a piece of garbage. Well, I mean, I've been saying that for like a decade. <laughs> so there's no reason. There's no reason why somebody passes away who has a six-year-old daughter and that fat fucking sludge of silly putty comes on a fucking interview when him and Sean did not like each other. You don't bring the Joker to fucking Batman's and have the Joker get Batman's fucking eulogy. That was the dumbest thing I've ever fucking seen. And that motherfucker thinks he's just going to walk around with this fucking stupid Raiders fucking bandana and sunglasses and think he's going to walk around with that smile like a ferret and he's going to get away with it. Me and him are going to have fucking words. And I hope it's in public in front of everybody because I'm going to embarrass that fucking little piece of shit after what he's done and what he's caused. Yeah, I mean... I don't know what to say. I, I I think I don't know if he does it for shock value or he thinks he actually is right. Or I watched a little bit of that interview. It seemed like he was just he did it almost seemed like Dave was trying to blame Sean not being able to make a living. And it almost seemed like Sean was doing anything he could do to blame it on Roden and not anything yes. else. No. So it was like it's Roden's fault. Roden is still big. Roden is still this. He's not competing. Why is he still big? He just blamed it all on him. And I'm like, I don't know if that's fair. Like, no, it's not. Yeah. Not when a six year old grieving daughter is going to fucking Google her father one day and see everything everybody said about him. And she's got to watch this fucking broke ass infidelity, fat piece of shit talk about her father. Cause you know what? If Sean Ray passed away, Sean Roden would have never fucking done that and if he was interviewed he would have praised sean ray for the person he was as the good in him not the scumbag that he is and that's the problem that i have yeah well i think the problem i see in it is number one it's too soon it's like a day later you know what i mean like you're trying to you're trying to say what's right and what's wrong and 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 uh whose fault it is and all this shit. It's been a day, man. Like, give it a week, give it two weeks. It's like me and me and Nick were just talking about that. Like, yeah. people are trying to put the blame somewhere and it's only been he like even, a day. He even brought up Dallas. Like, he, yeah. he was like, he, he, he said, said Dallas's he called, death was predictable. He said, I called that a post. And I'm it's like, how do you say shit? Like, why would, like, why would you even say that? Because he's got no, he has no sense of empathy and he's all about, the problem is, is Sean Ray, I know for a fact, has stolen money from fucking athletes. He wait fucking- a minute. Wait, just, a, wait a minute, guy. You know what, Nick? Remember we just said, me and Nick were just talking. We said, there are people that are in the, I told you so camp. Yeah, that's Sean Ray. That's fucking Sean Ray. Yeah. Literally what you just said about Dallas. He's more happy that he yes. pre- predicted it. Yeah then sad that the fact that somebody passed away. Yep. Wow, man. And that's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I have to say something about, you know, we always talk about these old timers and how they're like, (laughs) they're like for or against or whatever, talk shit about guys nowadays. I have to give somebody credit. Milos. So I gave Milos shit like uh, back last year, I think because he was talking about Ian winning New York. And I was like, man, you have, to sh- you're an icon. You shouldn't be like that. I have to say Milos is one of these guys from the nineties. Who's like cares stepped, about up, us. stepped up and like actually helping guys and actually trying to help them look better and feel better. Yeah. And like, so I know it's a little off topic from what we're talking about, but like, you know, it's, you have a guy like Sean Ray who does nothing but sit on the sideline and talk and, shit. Then you got Jay, Dennis, Milos, like Dexter, all doing right things. Yeah, they're all like in there. You know, Jay's constantly Chris Cormier. Chris Cormier, yeah. Yeah. Constantly putting out videos. Like Jay's constantly putting out videos trying to teach guys. And like Chris and Milos are actually coaching people. And like Sean Ray has no right to say anything. He's literally doing nothing. Well, this is the problem. Sean Ray did nothing. What did he do in bodybuilding? What did he take? Top four and five in the Olympia? Oh, I don't think he he, 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 he wanted Arnold. I don't think he wanted Arnold Plastic that got 
I don't no, think you he, can't. You can't discredit his placements. He's, he did. No, no, what well I'm saying is he walks around like I won. I never won an Arnold, but I won. The, I won seven shows. A lot of people never even won one. He walks around like he's won multiple Mr. Olympias. But regardless, so grand- regardless of the competition history, because I don't think you like that's one. That's only one aspect. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. But let me get to the point. Yeah. So he never won the Olympia. He was always butt hurt. OK, he ends up retiring he, at an early age after he retired. What he had no sponsors. He fucking bashed everybody. Nobody likes him. He's the guy that retired. That is hates the fact that he's not in the limelight. And that's what bothers him. He's not relevant. He's not a pro bodybuilder on stage anymore. He still doesn't know his place. So his place is to be a leech and do what he does. He's got 800 and something, 30,000 followers before he blocked me today. How do you have 836,000 followers and his posts were getting 700 likes? I'm like, you are an idiot wrapped in a moron. Well, <laughs> I think, I think what his angle is, is I'm the truth teller. So he sees, he sees himself as the guy who is telling everybody the truth that nobody else wants to talk about. The sad fact is that he doesn't realize is we talk about those things. We just don't talk about them in a fucking asshole manner. Yeah. Right. We talk about the dangers of doing steroids. We talk about getting your blood work done. We talk about taking time off your cycles or not being too heavy for too long or any of these things and how dangerous things could be. We just don't point fingers at people and hope for their fucking illness so that we can be right. Yeah. So like you said, he said, Sean didn't have health insurance. That was a lie. That was a lie. Sean had health insurance. He said, Sean never been to the doctors. That was a lie. Sean was at the doctors many fucking times. He said that uh, he just he just kept he said Sean had a um, a recreational drug problem. The guy would never even smoke a joint. Yeah. And you're telling me he's got a recreational drug problem. Where like, did he get that? Where did he get that problem. from? Where did he get that from? It was dude. He was throwing fucking Hail Marys. He tried to he tried to compare an NFL football player who was yeah, sidelined was- for allegations but the difference is, Sean Ray, you're such a big NFL fan that the guy that gets sidelined from allegations is still collecting a fucking paycheck, you brainless idiot. Sean got banned and wasn't collecting anything and lost his sponsors. So to say that bodybuilding or the people that turned his back on him didn't cause him fucking stress, and then he lost a ton of money from that fucking bitch with the allegations, and then he was pretty much damn near broke, hanging on by a thread and you want to say that bodybuilding wasn't the main culprit come on dude give me a break i said that sean died of a broken heart and you know i know sean had one because nick trigilli did a video and said he had two heart attacks and i texted nick and i'm like he didn't have two he had one and i knew about it and it was last year it was it was very small he was checked out he was cleared so i knew about that um, okay well that's a, that's a little different i mean if you had a pre-existing issue and, and john had a pre-existing issue so that that leaves George, which I don't know anything about. So yeah. So Sean, I don't know. I knew he was, he didn't feel good that week. I knew he said on Friday, he felt fine whether that it was a lie or not. I don't know, but I know when he passed that night, he wasn't feeling good and he was having trouble breathing. Um, and he, he got down on his knees and he was leaning over a bed. Like he does. I have videos of him sleeping with his arms on a bed. And apparently he asked, whoever it was to get him a glass of water. She walked out of the room for a couple minutes and he came and he came back in. And I guess the girl like put his arm on or her hand on Sean's shoulder and like pulled him back. It was like, Sean, are you all right? And he'd already passed. And when she pulled him back, he just collapsed on the floor. And uh, so it could have been a pulmonary embolism. Um, it could have been a brain aneurysm. It could have been a clot. It could have been just a straight heart attack. But to, like I'm saying it was probably a heart attack because I know he had a pre-existing heart condition, which was a heart attack, but to turn around and say he died because he was fat and out of shape and obese, like the way Sean did, like the, you, the autopsy's not even done yet. Yeah. Like I, I could be wrong when I say he had a heart attack. I'm only saying what I think because only about five people knew about Sean's heart attack. And if you weren't this close to him, you didn't know. He just woke up for sure. He just woke up. <laughs> you just woke up, didn't you? He doesn't have sound yet. Ann's not a good bodybuilder. He sucks. I hate him. He's yeah, ugly. He's not cute. I can't hear you guys for some reason. <laughs> That's why we're talking shit about you. <laughs> remember, Fu, I remember how I said you guys are a bunch of pussies and we're sick. Yeah. 
I woke up yesterday. I feel like shit. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just getting over mine, man. <coughs> speaking of speaking of COVID, I I have COVID. No. Yeah, look. Do you really? Yeah. It's the antigen test. Where did you get that from? CVS. No, my uh, my brother has sell, does a lot of PPE stuff, so he has a lot of COVID tests, like the rapid you tests. Have COVID? So my brother dropped uh, my brother bro- dropped a bunch of tests off. So I did one yesterday, and oh, your brother dropped some off at my <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, I did a test. I'm I'm positive. I'm COVID. I was sick on. I was felt more sick on Sunday. It's been about four days now. I'm getting like every day. I get like five or ten percent better. I want to ask what you've been doing. Hey, get better, but I feel like you're doing the same thing you do when you're that sick and just sit around. That's it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sitting, a lot of sitting on the couch, a lot of watching TV. Who's who's volume? Wait, is that? I'm hearing, I'm hearing an echo. It's got to be Ian. It's Ian. I'm hearing an echo. It's got to be Ian. It's Ian. Oh, that's me. Fucking. I don't know why it's not playing. You can hear me though. I can hear yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. I can't hear myself anymore. Wait. I can't hear myself anymore. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I hear. I hear you echo. Yeah, there's a delay. I hear. I hear you echo. Do you have headphones, Ian? Yeah, it's for it's. Do you have what? Do you have what? Yeah, let me let me just all uh I'll call for my phone or something. Okay. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm not taking any any like special medication or anything. I'm just I, I double dosing the fucking vitamin C, vitamin D. Think and uh zinc zinc and uh kirsten aspirin aspirin hey aspirin i'm taking baby aspirins and did you get your 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 uh calf checked no but paul got his checked and we had the same pain paul's got a small tear in his calf bro can you get it checked it's not dvt because the, i talked uh, my doctor was like it would be warm and red okay so that's what mine was it's not no it's not warm and red okay it's not. so anyway yeah. <laughs> the way it comes up so now <laughs> so guy you've had covid now i don't have it i don't know if i have it no now, you had I, it you had it before yeah james has had it i've had it you had covid for sure yeah when did you have it you never told us uh may no maybe earlier than that is that before or after you got vaxxed uh, well, I'm not, I'm not Vax, but I, uh, oh, I thought you were before I have one of the two. Oh, you didn't get to you didn't get the second one. No. Um, was it before or after you got the first one before? Oh, okay. Uh, um, and then James. Yeah. So James has been, uh, christened as well. So, but this means my immunity is going to be stronger than everybody else's. hundred percent. You're good. Right. Yeah. So now I have supreme immunity. Yeah. Nick, I I didn't I really haven't laughed much until the post you put up yesterday. <laughs> I what didn't even know that was I didn't even know that was being filmed, but that if, if Fuad pulls it up, that actually brought a smile. And I actually I think I commented that I'm like, I haven't smiled in yeah. like five days. At, at the bar? Like, that actually makes me laugh. Post Dude, that I'm not, the whole video. Just watch it. Just watch it first. I'm not going to say what he said. He said something to the to the to the, the guy at the front. I'm just like this kid's out. His, his response, mind. bro. His response. The one of him. Yeah. I was told an hour, and she's like, "It's an hour and a half." And he was like, "I just took I just took top five to Miss Olivia. I'm really hungry." And I was like, <laughs> "That's <laughs> fucking hilarious." Imagine, imagine she knew though. Oh, really? Okay. Well, you together. hear me say, I look at, at Nick and I go, they don't have a fucking clue about no. anything. And he no, was like, no. not a clue. All right. So Ian, before you were, uh, before you logged on, we were talking about Sean Roden. My question is more, uh, direct, which is what the fuck do we do? Because if none of these things have anything to do with anything but bodybuilding, then we need to make some changes. Yeah. But what changes like you guys, you guys are at the top of the sport, right? Like Ian, Nick, you know, I'm, I'm coming, I'm looking from the outside in. So is guy. So I'm sure everybody has their own ideas, but like, have you guys thought about that? Have you guys considered like, what could be changed? Like, should the IFBB change anything? Should there be testing mandates? Should there be weight caps? 
Like, I, I think it really has nothing to do with the IFBB at the end of the day. I mean, I think it's the onus is on the athlete of 100%. I mean, like they only judge what's in front of them. So I don't think it really has anything to do with them. I think it is completely on the athlete at that point because uh, I mean, like, out, how, time, how, out. time out for a second. The IFBB can regulate what the athlete does very easily. By what? Drug testing? Like, I mean, no, no, it, no. no. It, all it, they have to do is say this. Oh, I'm getting blood work done. Before all they have use. to do is say this a few different things, right? You have to prove that you've had blood work done two, three, four times, whatever they say, right? That's one. You have to, maybe there's weight caps or weight limits. Um, there's, I think there's various things they can do to say, this is our new standard so that it's the extreme just doesn't keep going further and further and further. I because, think because if you put the, if, if you, one second, if you put the onus on the athlete, Ian, we already know that guys will do whatever the fuck it takes to win. Yes. So the onus on the athlete thing is not going to work. The, the no, I, I, I understand that, but also putting it on the IFBB won't change anything either because no, one, no, if no, you put a you weight cap. Put a, wait, one at a time. Go ahead, Ian. If you put a weight cap, it'll change nothing. I mean, there's, like, I mean, George Peterson wasn't massive. Sean Ray wasn't, or Roden wasn't massive. I mean, you're talking about guys that aren't gigantic guys. I mean, John Meadows wasn't massive. I mean, you know, you're not, you're not even talking about mass monsters, a lot of these guys. So, you know, putting a weight cap will, will do nothing. Um, I mean, and a lot of the guys, we know it, a lot of the guys that are smaller and, you know, these guys like, or even to come down, cut hard for a show, you know, guys are pounding more drugs, more diuretics to make weigh-ins, weight caps. Like, you know, that could, if anything, if now, a guy that's 275 pounds on stage has to make a 240 pound weight cut. He could be doing insanely drastic measures to now try to make this weight cut, which could be even more dramatic and more harmful. Okay, fine. Um, so, so you so, just, so you discounted a couple things. It makes all those things make sense. What about saying? Let me. What about if you go, go ahead, to your you. primary care physician, get blood work and a physical, and the doctor said you are healthy to compete this year? That won't work. How would that one? How was that? Because now. It can't fall on the IVB. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Be the... Because now you're asking the doctor to take liability for you taking illegal substances. No, no. Okay. Maybe, okay. Yeah. Maybe not. But if you get a physical and you're healthy and you get blood work and your doctor says you're healthy, then your doctor's saying you're healthy. What I think, what okay, I, what I, wait, one second, so, let me throw this out just real quick. So let's say that the IFBB, like football has doctors, right? Like each team has a doctor. Yeah, there's what no if performance enhancing drugs in, in football, though, legally, you know? One second. There, well, probably there is performance drugs enhancing drugs in, body in body football. Body. I so. said there, is, there, is, there isn't legally. Okay, yeah. but this is my point, is if the IFBB had a doctor and guys were mandated to get blood work done two or three times a year, and that blood work had to be seen by the IFBB's doctor, wouldn't that be one way to say, hey, your fucking blood work is real shit? And until it's normal, you can't compete. Sure. I mean, what stops guys then if, you know, if I'm sending my blood work to the doctor, what stops me from sending my next door neighbor's blood work to the doctor? Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, want to get when I, when I, I get me. blood work from the doctor, I don't get to, they send it out. I don't get to. Yeah. I mean, your doctor is going to send it to the IFBB. You don't get to draw okay, your own if, blood if, and if just send it out. If, if you're saying that there's going to be communication now, right, like, between my doctor and the IFBB's doctor and all these things, okay, well, maybe, sure, that could work. But then okay. is the IFBB also setting the parameters of what is considered healthy and not healthy? Just because you give somebody, well, yeah. uh, just because you clear somebody doesn't mean they can't have something happen. It's just saying from what we're looking at based on the no, I, in front I, of us, I'm you're okay. So if there was like, sure. like, like now everything's uploaded. Every time I've been to a doctor, everything's portal. What's so of hard course. about getting blood work back getting a physical back, uploading it to an IFBB portal that they have one doctor or a couple of doctors look at and either click, okay, you're cleared or no, not until A, B, and C are fixed. Or your, kidneys, your kidneys are fucked. Your liver enzymes are fucked. Your cholesterol is way too high. Like That's not hard sure. to do. It's not hard no, to do. To absolutely not. If, you, if you're not. if you're having it from doctor to doctor, then that could be done. Then where the That's slippery what I slope gets is, the slippery slope gets, okay, now where is so setting the parameters now everyone's parameters are going to be a little different you know like some guys might just have genetically higher numbers and certain things than the others i mean some guys might be you know like where do you go like chris, say for example someone like chris chris other you know chris has a, a genetic kidney disorder so would he never be able to be able to compete again how would that work for him uh, well, well I, mean, I mean, Chris goes. Wait, let me. Ask you, Chris goes. Obviously, he has a kidney disease or disorder. He goes to the doctor. 
Yeah, he has a nephrologist oh. and everything. Yeah, yeah, but if yeah, he has so what, what, what he is, he's got, if he was healthy, blood work, the doctor guy, what Ian, what his what blood he, work by the IFBB standards might not pass. It might pass. His doctor might say, "We know that this is your normal. This is okay. You're good to compete." But by the IFBB's limitation standards that they've set as their baseline, saying, "Okay, if you have a creatinine over 150, you cannot compete." Okay, but wait a minute, Ian. Be, yeah, but if you have a special, wait, wait a minute, saying, wait a minute. No, 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 wait a minute. So Ian's right. But then I would say, if the IFBB has their baseline, if your doctor permits it, then they can, you know what I mean? You'd have an exemption. Like in that case, Chris's nephrologist. But then, but then what you're doing again, right away again, is now putting the onus on the doctor to permit using illegal steroids and compete, you know? No, all you're saying is these kidney numbers are in line with his previous numbers where we know they're not out of whack. Sure. Okay. Right. So I'm just, look, uh, we're just spitballing, obviously. I'm just, yeah, yeah. No, look, I, just, I, I think, I think something needs to be done, of course. But I think bodybuilding is very difficult in this capacity because, like you said, when you're, you know, introducing illegal drugs, essentially, and then now trying to introduce doctors and you don't know, like, who's friends with what doctor. I mean, I could be buddy buddy with my doctor and, you know, they could fudge my fucking numbers and get me in there. Like, I mean, there's so many things. I mean, I guess that happens in NFL and stuff as well, but. I mean, it becomes such a clusterfuck of guys like, well, I don't have a doctor. I don't have this. I don't but, have access to get blood work. Like, but know. it goes back to because then you can't compete. If you don't have insurance. You shouldn't be body. If you don't have That's a doctor, I, oh, I agree. Nice. I agree. If you don't have a doctor that will do blood work or you can't afford to get blood work, you can't compete. Exactly. Look, and I, I agree. These are all great ideas and, and that if it could work, that would be great. But we all have to understand that this could potentially kill bodybuilding. Yeah, but. No, no, it won't kill bodybuilding. It'll just make people more responsible. Yes. Uh, I, I, I beg to differ. I, I guarantee if you put in these mandates right now, you would eliminate 75% of the competing bodybuilders. But doesn't well, it say, only, but wait a minute, but doesn't it, wait a minute, guy. Doesn't that say something about what we're doing? Well, that it does. Means, that, that means you're literally I, telling me 75% of the guys' blood work is fucked. I would say prob probably yes. Okay, but that's, that goes to exactly what we're seeing happen then. But well, of course that, it does. Is, is I don't disagree work? with you. But that's not is okay then. So, so what we need to do then is say, look, the whole sport, look, I love bodybuilding. I don't have to see guys who are 280 pounds. I can see guys who are 250 pounds. I can, I can see, you know, guys can fit the parameters and the sport can still be great. They're just going to have to look different. So, Ian, are you saying that you think 75% of the people are unhealthy or you think 75% of the people don't have insurance? No, he's saying, no, I'm saying blood that seventy five percent are unhealthy. So yeah. do you think the seventy so do you think most people just don't go to the doctor? No, I can some probably people. name more I can name more bodybuilders that I know that don't get blood work done than bodybuilders. No, that guy, actually guy, what he what he's saying is this like I competed for a number of years and my blood work was well, not let me was not, was, not, was not great. Yes. Right. So my blood work was not great, probably from thirty four to thirty six when I was competing. And I, I, I would guarantee you that that is 75% or more of people competing that they see their blood work and they justify in their head like, Oh, it's, it's a little high, but it's okay. It's, Oh, it's fine. But I'm sure there's other guys competing with numbers worse and they're fine. Oh, it's okay. This, Oh, it's okay. Oh, I'm just going to do this. Oh, like everyone's going to just justify it. every, every time at, at the end of every year, beginning of a new year, I don't, I don't play the I'm off, but I'm doing two shots of this and a shot of this. I come off the right way. My doctor fucking regulates it. I get my blood work done. And then I yeah, make sure I'm we, healthy enough to start. Okay, wait a minute. We, we know that. Look, that's that's fine. We know. We, and look, we do that too. I do that too. I mean, I get blood work done many times. This, I mean, it doesn't change the fact. No, because if your blood work shit, then that means you're on for too long. You're doing something wrong. You need to come off and get your body regulated correctly. And if that's not more important to somebody. That's not necessarily true. Stage, Guy, that's not what's necessarily, not necessarily true. true. So well, it's not. It's not. I'll, I'll give you an example. It's not just a matter of going off. If your kidney numbers start to fall, going off steroids and cleaning out does not mean your your kidney numbers are going to come back. If it's chronic, if it's acute, it'll come back. If you have chronic kidney issues, your your kidney numbers are not going to come back. So let's say somebody gets to a GFR of like 45 or 50. The doctor is going to be like, uh, this is stage two kidney disease. Possibly if you're 45, could be stage three. That's not now. If you send your blood work to the IFBB, going by our old scenario, they're going to be like, "You're in stage three kidney failure, dude. You can't compete no more." So, you, at, so that would that would be like, like Ian said, I would bet you there's a number of guys in that fifty range, forty five range that are probably like, 
going to be X. You can't get on stage no more. And going off yeah. juice, going off juice is not going to raise those numbers. Okay, wait, and then also okay, but so then if that's the case, wait, wait, then me, on is make those numbers worse. So then that person should compete. Then that's right. Yeah. But that's what Ian's saying is you're going to eliminate X you're amount of guys. Eliminate- Oh, you're either, you're going to either stop guys from dropping dead, or you're going to either stop guys from competing. So and that's which my and that's, last, and that which was is my the better one. Ian. That was my point to well, Ian. Is, I, I agree with your point. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that having less like one. I I obviously agree that having less guys die is better. I agree with that. But putting in parameters that then kills the sport accomplishes almost nothing. It's, it's not like, gonna okay, kill you're healthier, but, but wait a minute. It's not going to kill now, the there's sport. No body well, body. Let me say something. No, 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 no. It's not going to kill the sport. It's going to change. It will kill the sport. There's no, literally no debate that that will something. kill the sport. No, no, no. Every, it'll change the sport. No, it'll kill it. 100%. Every, hold on. Every single. So you're, so you're saying every guy, I'm sorry, guy, you're saying every guy in the classic division, their blood works fucked too. No, but where, are you saying that they're in normal ranges Normal ranges while using PEDs prepping for the Olympia. Are we talking off gear in the off season? No, no, no. I'm off? talking before the beginning of the year. We should like normal fucking bodybuilders should come off normally. But this doesn't change anything, guys. Well, listen, ATC, okay, let, me explain, let me explain something to you guys. Have you? If someone comes off gear for four weeks and gets blood work, it's 99% of the time it's good. Almost for everyone, know. no matter how unhealthy, unless you're having serious kidney issues, yes, that's a, that's different because that will not rebound if you have bad lipids if you have high enzymes if you have any of these things you can pull off for four five six weeks and those numbers can rebound you can go get blood work done oh you're fine and dandy compete next year and then you run gear for nine months of the year doing nine months of damage and then that is what is not being seen so when are we doing blood work one week out from the olympia two weeks out six weeks out are we doing it in the off season at january 1st when no one's competing everyone's off gear it, it's impossible. Oh, wait a minute, Ian. That's why if you say do a blood work three times a year, you can't really escape it. Okay, if you if you do it three times a year, sure, yeah, yeah. Look, but it, look, it, I'm it not also saying, depends. I'm, then, so I'm not well, saying. Are you my, taking it? Can, can I throw my fucking? Wait a minute. Well, like, not, let me finish my point here. Okay. Are, are you taking an average of these three? Because now, what if I do, you know, three times a year? One of them is two weeks before a show. One of them is at the end of the season, and one of them is a week after the Olympia. I mean, depending on what my my season is or anyone's season, everyone's seasons are going to be different. Maybe some guys may- will be competing at the beginning of the year. The Arnold, some won't be competing. I mean, it's impossible. Maybe it would be before you start your prep. But that's the worst time to test because that's when you're at your healthiest. Yeah, if you're off everything before you start your prep, you're right. Yes. Because then you're going to get false positive. You're going to get everyone's going to look healthy. Right, and then they're going to bang fucking a thousand milligrams of halo all year and kill First themselves. of all, if you're only coming off four or six weeks out of a year, you're an idiot. That's numero uno to me. Number two, to sit here and say we can't change anything. I have watched football since I was fucking three years old. And the amount of changes the NFL has made to save players' lives between yeah. leading with your head, doing they change the game to save lives. I, so look, whether it made the game, I don't like watching football as much because it's like watching a titty bouncing match, but they did it to make the players healthier and save lives. Just because we compete in a sport, knowingly where we take PEDs doesn't justify not changing parameters to save lives. There's nothing that is a true statement across the fucking board. No, I, I agree. You can, you can set in parameters to save lives 1000 percent, it's very easy to do i think there's a million parameters you can put in to save lives but where it differs from football is now you have a game with a million moving parts with equipment with many different things where you can put in changes to easily change the game and make it safer with bodybuilding the only change you can really make is either is reducing drugs and doing blood testing that's the only one there's not hit with your helmet use better well, helmet. You use better question, pads. if you if you came off for let's say two months and everything was perfectly fine, right? And then another guy came off for two months, and his fucking blood work was a fucking train wreck. And you guys were off for equally of time. They could be like, this guy's completely healthy, even though he's off everything now. He's healthy, so if he goes on, less likely. Whereas this guy is really bad. If he goes on, nightmare could happen. Wait a minute. Uh, but- I, I agree to an extent, but I also think that the time you're on is when the damage is done. If you, if you get on and your blood works fine, but then or, or you get off and your blood works fine, then you get on and all of a sudden your LDL shoots the fucking 7, 8, your L- HDL goes down to 0.1, your fucking liver enzymes are 120. I mean, like, 
you know, your creatine's 250 for nine months of the year, then what the fuck does it matter if you're okay, healthy wait, for three it, months? It of the might year? not matter, but at least gives the IFBB to go, we checked. He was healthy in the beginning of the year. Obviously, something happened later on, but at least well, we that's just giving diligence. all that's doing then is covering the IFBB's ass. It's no, 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 wait a minute. Athlete. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What you're saying is you're still taking kind of your, you're curbing the, the argument, Ian. It's not nine months. If you're checking somebody every three months, that means they only get four Sorry, months. But he was saying he was, oh, I agree with you. He said at the beginning of the year. No, no, no. Every three months, or sorry, every four months. So you check somebody three times. They're not going to be able to go off long enough to oh, return. No, for right. Sure. Yeah. So that's one way. The second way I just thought of while we guys were talking was uh, blood work. Look, let's just do blood tests. How much test are you on? How much shit is in your fucking body? Like, can they do, can they do drug testing? And then they're like, look, it would be can't. too, it would be way too expensive, but yeah. If, if that was a way to do it, that would be like, you can, you can't be over these amounts. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a way. To, I mean, that seems more complicated than just saying, we want to see your blood work three times a year. And these Listen, are the baselines. I, I agree. It's very, I agree with Ian. It's very hard to fucking do, but with obviously having what we have going on in the world and then we're trying to get people or some people are get, getting certain things. Some people don't want to get certain things because they're, or they're concerned. I think with you, when you take all that added into the equation, we have to do something because obviously this, I hear people say, oh, well, we don't, we, we hear about deaths now because it's more readily available on social media. First of all, everybody that died, I didn't find out from social media. I got fucking phone calls. So everybody using the social media, we, we know sooner now is bullshit because I knew before social media, every single Luke, Dallas, John, George, Sean, I knew before I even checked social media. So that whole, we hear about it first is bullshit. I don't buy that because we're a tight knit community. My phone blew up. Like my phone lit up like a fucking Christmas tree. Every time a, one of uh, somebody died. So I'm not saying there's a way to prevent it. I'm not saying there's a way to fucking fix it, but I'm saying something should be done to protect or help or stop or slow down what's happening. Because we, we, all, we all agree with that though. Yeah, that's, not, that's say, not really but, like but to a, say we, we all we all anything. agree. No, no one's gonna sit here and be like, no, we shouldn't change anything. We should just like keep we all agree. But the, that only way, and the only way to change it is by doing a physical and blood work. There's no other way to go about doing oh, it. Oh, wait a minute. Why, I, Ian, wait, why I, don't, don't you... I don't I don't disagree with you. I'm just saying if you do that, you will ultimately change or kill the sport in a very radical fashion, which may might be what's needed. I'm not saying that. I'm, maybe that's what we need. Maybe this sport needs to be completely different and guys need to be like, if you're over 225 on stage, you're way too big and you're killing yourself. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer here is. I don't know where the parameters is, but I can tell you now, if you have guys testing three times a year and two of those three times are when they're on cycle, no one will compete. There's going to be no doctor is going to look at those blood work and say, you're safe to compete. If guys are on full olympia cycles you're gonna have 25 guys yeah but you know what that sounds girls. like but you know what that sounds like what? that means you're gonna have to take smaller cycles to make sure their blood works okay yeah which maybe might be the good thing but i'm saying that you're going to radically change the sport 100 percent. good maybe I, people maybe more people look at the guys on the podcast that we talk to and actually start training like them and not re relying so much on taking absurd amounts i of mean blood imagine blood. imagine this and let's say let's say all of a sudden the sport goes back to a more classic look. Let's say it goes back to the 80s. Is that going to kill bodybuilding? People are still going to be interested. No, they won't. That's completely false. People love I classic. Think you'll, people like classic, but you're also then... People love classic. In, the, most popular people guy, love classic. the most popular guy... The most classic possible... The most popular guy in our industry is classic. I, I agree with that. But Men's Open still sells the most tickets. They're still It's still the pinnacle event with the biggest purse. I mean, look, I, even the guys in classic are taking the same amount of drugs as the guys in open. They're just eating less food. You know, I mean, it's well, not. Well, I agree. But what I'm saying is if you had to match blood work to a certain amount, you would have to take less shit. Of course. Yeah. You might, you might not take as many orals. Mm -hmm. you, you might not take fucking trend for as long. You might not, you know what I mean? Like, no, like, I, I agree. I mean, to me, it's really the only way. Cause like you said, blood testing for the it actual drugs, blood testing for the actual drugs is too expensive. Yeah. And expecting guys not to expecting guys to be healthy is not fucking real. That's not realistic. No. Guys don't give a shit until it's too late. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know what kind of liability goes with that, but to me, that's the only answer I could come up with when I was thinking about this is, is, is testing frequently two, three, four times a year for blood work. 
and having parameters set for what your blood work has to look like. And if it doesn't look like that, you can't get on fucking stage. So now question when you're talking about setting the parameters, are you setting the parameters within normal healthy limits or are we giving a leeway because they're pro bodybuilders? Like how do well, you know that? I think that's up to the doctor that the, the IFBB deems as their doctor, but I would assume that like, for example, like people, everybody know, well, not everybody, but most people know in the industry that your creatinine level is going to be a little higher because of how much muscle we have versus the average person on the street. So the IFBB doctor would be able to take that into consideration. Hey, their liver enzymes might be 60 or 70 instead of 50. I mean, or you could even go like this because this is an individual sport. You can easily just have to submit proof of insurance and proof that you got a physical and that's it. And if you are dumb enough to get your, all your stuff done and still compete because you think it's, it's okay. Then it falls on it. Listen, I'm, I'm, no, but now you're back to the personal onus thing. That doesn't do it. You're back to where we are now. Because it is, it is an individual sport, but there is no, we have no, there is nobody that is holding the athletes responsible. So I guarantee over 50% of the IFBB doesn't have insurance. That doesn't matter guy. That doesn't prevent anybody from dying. What I'm saying is if we're talking about something weird too, because like, in Canada, we don't even have insurance like that. So it's, it's like, a, okay, so all you have to do is go to a doctor and sit and get a, a, a note saying that you were there, got blood work and got a physical, not that it's approved, but just prove that you actually went. That and doesn't then mean anything. The individual, some guys might get a physical and blood work and be like, fuck, I, who, I can't. Who? I'm Name one guy. I would. There's very few. Yeah. Majority like, of guys. I said in one of my of videos, guys. it's a personal choice but at least have something in, 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 in stone to prove that at least the guys are getting checked. If somebody gets checked guy. and they still want to say, fuck it, then it's on them. But that's listen, that's listen. where we are now. Most guys are getting checked and are still competing. I will guarantee that more people are not getting checked than are getting checked. Guy, I will guarantee you any amount of money that the majority of guys that get checked, even if their health markers are off a little bit, they're still going to get on stage. Or okay. they're getting. Healthy. I'm not getting disagreeing that. Not I'm not disagreeing that. But if you submit proof that you went to a doctor, and okay. you got okay. a physical, can I, can I just say one thing, please? Okay. So, guy, I understand your point. It's a personal choice. When we decided to take steroids at 20 years old, that was your personal choice. Yes. When guys are dying left and right, it's no longer a personal choice. Now, a governing body has to stand in and go, "Hey, wait a minute, our fucking guys are dying left and right." So. Just saying, hey, you got to go to the doctor and get blood work done is not enough because most of the guys are still going to get on stage and still die because they don't care about their blood. Agree. I didn't say that was enough. I'm saying that's better than nothing. No, it's not. It's literally the same thing. It it literally will do nothing. Most guys will get their blood work and say, check, and then they'll do a shot and go to the gym. Like, they don't give a fuck. You're not the same as everybody else. Most guys, most guys have taken a lot more shit than you. And most guys probably don't give a fuck. So what I'm saying is my opinion is there has to be a standard for a baseline. This is what your blood work has to look like. If it's over this limit, you're not well, getting on stage. Yeah. I mean, and if you're, and if your kidneys are fucked, guess what? It's time to retire. Cause you're not getting on stage. Yeah. And then maybe the, that person might go compete in the fucking, uh, the PCA or something though, yeah. you know, the, then at least the IFBB is saying, this is our standard. This is what we think. This is what we need to make sure our guys stay healthy. Yeah. I, you know, fuck. I, I think it's, look, how much worse is bodybuilding going to be if guys have to take a little less shit? I still think it's going to be. Mean, I, look, I, I think, and I, sorry, I want to preface this by, I'm not defending. Do you this guys all get blood work done? Nick included. Yes. yes. Let me, let me finish my point. I, I'm not defending this yeah. because I want everyone to be able to take lots of drugs. And I think that, you know, if we take all the drugs away, everyone's going to be garbage. I don't think that. I just think that it's very, very hard in a sport where you're, where performance enhancing drugs are used, period, to create a look, to mandate it at all. I mean, because if you're talking about introducing blood work now and you have to get checked three times a year, most guys, when they're on cycle, are going to be outside of any healthy range that any realistic doctor is going to deem okay. So, I mean, it's it's really unless you're, unless you're on less drugs unless you're on less drugs yes yeah well i mean how less drugs are we talking about guys taking 300 milligrams of test no like i'll give you an example like if you're taking like test and eq and primo sure your t- your blood work 
if it hasn't been fucked already, like if you're fresh, can probably still be good. But if you start oh, jumping, yeah, sure. but if you start dumping in 50, 100 milligrams of Anadrol, 600 milligrams of Tren, now your blood work looks probably fucked up. I, I agree with you. But then what happens now when you have the physiques like Rami and Brandon and all the top guys at the Olympia and the, the standard just starts to go like this? You don't have that. You still have shredded looks, but you just, your guys aren't as big. Odds are we're probably, people are probably taking too much anyway and their body is not even absorbing it. Oh, a hundred percent. Look, yeah, I know. Well, I, I agree with you. Probably that. Doing less is probably going to benefit everyone anyway and probably just look better and get better results. Yes. I agree that more drugs needs to happen. I'm all I'm saying is that more drugs. You agree, th- you agree less drugs. <laughs> what? You had a Freudian you said I agree there. more drugs need to happen. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> more, we're not more in. Checks. We're not in. We're not in Texas anymore, Ian. <laughs> more more checks need to happen and less drugs need to be used. But I'm just saying, I don't think it's as simple as it sounds. I think it is. It's not. It's not. It's really. I don't. It's not simple. I think I, just, I, think, I think I just solved the problem. Okay, they're fucking picky in the brain. Relax. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think I did. What less drugs? No, blood work three times a year, and it has to be uh, <laughs> coming the, from the guy that's got a blood clot in his calf. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'd be the first to t- retire, guy. Uh, let me tell you this. <laughs> the sad. The sad fact is. I would have had to find a job much sooner than I did, but I would be a lot healthier. If bodybuilding had said to me at 34, Hey, your fucking kidneys are fucked. You can't compete no more. I would have had to get a job and my kidney levels would be a lot better than they are now at 43. So yes, the sport will change. Yes. A lot of guys are going to get the fucking boot, but in the long term, it's going to help a lot of fucking people. And I'm the first one to attest to that. I, look, I agree with a hundred percent. If they I'm turned just, around tomorrow, Ian, and said you and Nick couldn't compete because you guys were unhealthy. If you had to get blood work done tomorrow, would you be okay? Oh, that, yes. that's what I'm saying. If if, if Ann and if Ann and Nick got blood work done when they were getting ready, like let's say this year, and it was fucked, right? And they were like, "You guys can't compete." I would be upset that Ann and Nick couldn't compete, but I would be more relieved that I know that they're not doing something that could potentially put them in a grave sooner. Well, and you gotta, you gotta also, you gotta also admit to yourself, it would be <laughs> them too. And it would be a bunch of other guys too. Yeah. Then the problem with the, IFB you know is, what? I'd rather, I'd rather my friends is, be sick. Now you're, pro- now you're proving my point though. Then the Arnold's canceled. <laughs> yes. Now, now the you're Olympia prepping. comes. Now, now the Olympia comes. The, the, th- the third annual check is four weeks before the Olympia. Nine, 19 guys go get blood work, 14 fucking fail. Do you have the Olympia? Like, what you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'll compete that year. Yeah, me and Guy will win. We've been off for a so while. So, what, yeah, what <laughs> happens in that case? Who had what happens in that case now? You're six weeks out from the Olympia. This is when the third annual check is due. All the Olympia competitors, okay, it's due. You have to have all your blood work in by September 1st. This Everyone is get would... your blood work in. Almost everyone fails. Now, this, what? Is, this is what I would say to that. Well, I, I so, wouldn't schedule blood. No, 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 no. This is what I would say to that. So, Right now we're in 20, we're coming up on 2022. Mm-hmm. I would have a fucking uh, league wide email go out or conference or whatever and say, look, starting 2023, this is our new mandate. That gives yeah. everybody one year to clean up their shit and know that 2023, the first show of the year, whether it be the, you know, the Ironman or the Arnold or whatever the fuck it is in March, you're going to have to get tested January, 2023. And if your fucking blood work sucks, you're not going to compete in March. So that gives everybody a year. Even if you said two years, even if you said, look, 2024, these new rules are going into place. That gives people two years. Or it could be you have to submit your blood work X amount of weeks out. Like, let's say it's 20 weeks out from your show, you need to submit blood work or you can't compete. No, no, no. But I'm saying they need, let's say people's blood work is fucked now and you don't want to make them retire. No. That's fine. This year, we'll keep things the same. But starting 2023, these are the new mandates. That way, everybody has one year to start to clean up their blood work and get off some shit. And, and really worry about their health a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, no, it could be great. I don't know. I don't know. Something's got to happen. I mean, fuck Victor Richards, 56. Listen, we've done way too many of these bro chats and talked about bodybuilders that aren't around anymore. I mean, we, we've done a couple bro chats and then the next one we talk about death. We do a couple bro chats Man, and we talk about that. It's, two, it's, of them, it's, two of them are like close friends. Like I have, I have pictures 
I have a picture from the Arnold's and it's like, I'm in the, I'm in the middle with John. And I got, I think I got Luke on one side and Dallas is like two guys over. And I'm like, there's three people in this picture. Aren't here, aren't fucking here anymore. I was up in my podcast room the other night and I'm looking, I'm like, Luke's, uh, Luke's gone. I was like, John's gone. I'm like, Sean, I'm like, this is insane. I was like, half the people on my wall aren't even around anymore. My circle upstairs is bigger than this. My circle upstairs is bigger than one downstairs. Not anymore. And no, that's not anymore. After Dallas, your circle grew a little bit. <laughs> I was, I was like, I wasn't sure if you were talking about Dallas, the guy or Dallas, Texas. Then I figured. No, out I meant Dallas, Texas. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this has been a, I apologize to people listening, but this stuff's important that we talk about it because I, I, I feel like something happens and you get a whole bunch of people that are just like, I told you so you guys are fucking stupid. Look at all the shit you're doing. You guys are morons. You're, you're all going to die. And I'm like, maybe they're right. Maybe we are yeah. fucking stupid. Maybe oh, we obviously, need- obviously anyone doing bodybuilding in the first place is fucking stupid. I mean, we're all fucking stupid but and no one should be bodybuilding period, but I mean, it is what it is. Right. So I'll tell you this, when I started the podcast, one of the things I wanted to achieve was because of my own health issues, I was like, maybe there's a healthier way to bodybuild. So I wanted to have certain coaches on and promote. That's why I talked about my own health issues. I was like, people should get blood work done. People should fucking do this, do that. People don't listen. No. So now I think it's got to be a forced issue or else nothing's ever going to change. Yeah, you're right. It does need to be forced. Or like I was saying, like what I was, what I was basically trying to argue is that if you leave it like no one's going to do anything you know like like yeah. if guys saying you know get blood work at this and that or if it's only one time a year guys will do it when they're off stuff like it's going to be very very difficult and even the the problem still arises is like you know based off guys competition season what if the guys you know it's three times a year but you it happens to be when you're on downtime versus guys that are doing shows all year like it's it's going to be very difficult to regulate you know yeah 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 i don't know i think trying something would would be better than nothing. I mean, who knows? Oh, no, it, look, 100% maybe they, something needs to be done. I maybe, agree with you unequivocally. Maybe they do it for one year, and if it fucking sucks, then they change it. I don't know, but like, maybe it's like a tri- diuretics testing that lasted one year, then they took it back away. <laughs> yeah. I personally... Wasn't that, didn't, didn't Sean Ray lose an Arnold title because of that? Uh, no, Gene no, Cutler lost something because someone of else did. No, yeah. no, 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 no. They gave the first, I think, Arnold, Sean Ray won... <laughs> He got tested for diuretics and they, he, they stripped them and the guy, they gave the trophy to some, they gave the first place to really? somebody else. Look it up. Just make yes. it up. Who cares? Because Sean Ray makes up everything anyway. So just make yeah. it up. Fucking <laughs> Sean Ray. Stop <laughs> dealing fucking drug ha- fucking drug ha- drug Hail Mary. Sean Ray's throwing Hail Marys in an interview. Fucking nobody's catching him like an asshole. Lay off the fucking LASIK, Sean. Um, what was I going to Lay off the you know, you know, the one thing I was going to say is, you know, sometimes people ask us like, uh, what would everybody look like if they were natural? And the answer is always everybody would look the same, but smaller. No. Right. Is that all, like you think, okay, but Ian, the way you eat and the way you train. It, my physique would look completely different. Everyone's. Way. No, 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 no. Your physique would look completely different. Yes. But you would still be better than the guys you're better than now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That's my point. So, so what I'm trying to say is why are you laughing? He was like, not- Oh, for sure. <laughs> <All right. laughs> no, oh, my- sorry. I thought, I thought he meant like compared to like the average Joe, like I'd still be better than like, no, 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 no. I mean, like the no, guys. The guys you're competing against. You're like, yeah, fuck God, the fuck off. That you're better than now. If they all had to do the same thing you did, and everybody's natural, you'd still be better than them. Uh, yeah, probably. Most I likely, mean, right? Right. Yeah, I love him. So that's what I'm saying. It's, so, it's hard to tell. Like, I don't. I, who knows who responds what to what drugs and like you know? Okay. Do you think you'd be able to the point of, the same amount. The point I'm trying to no. make is if everybody had to drug, not drug test, but do blood work, and had to take less stuff the guys who work the hardest would still be at the top of the game. The cream will always rise to the crop or cream will always cream rise will to the always top. Rise to the top. It? Yeah. Cream will always <laughs> rise to the, the top. Crop. The cream of the crop. I don't know. The cream I'm will always rise to the drug, top. The cream will rise to the crop. So I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. But, uh, but what yeah. Cream, I mean, what cream grows? <laughs> yeah. The cream, not... the cream crop, bro. You don't yeah. know about that? <laughs> um, is that, is that the nickname of it? The cream crop? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it, it's, a, it's it's an experiment. What do you think, Nick? Anything? You haven't said two words. I was just saying, y'all do your little debates. I'm, All right. I'm, You've got to have it. some insight. You're the youngest one on here and one of the most fucking established at this point for your win. So, No, but I, I agree. Something should be done. Um, I'm not sure what would be the best way to go about it, honestly, because Ian's right to a point where it could kill the sport, but I'd rather see less people die 
at the same time. Um, it just depends. You know, I do think blood work should be mandated. It's just a matter of how you want to go about it. Yeah. I mean, I think Nick would still be in the same position he's in. He would just be maybe a little smaller. Mm-hmm. Right. No, I agree. I mean, and look, I, I, for anyone listening to this thing, gotta, because I'm as, arguing the other side, I'm not arguing for taking more steroids. I'm arguing it as a devil's advocate and saying why I think some of these things couldn't work. You know, it totally sounds like for the last hour, you've been like, I want to take as much drugs well, as possible. It, it even goes, <laughs> well, listen, Does it sound like that? hundred percent. Well, we're not we're definitely going to be known for, the guy, most, for the guy that takes the most. We're definitely going to be the guy known that takes the most juice on this fucking podcast. Night. Well, fuck, we're not putting this up because that's not real at all. No, no, no. It just it sounds like you're you're playing devil's advocate. Go ahead, Nick. What were you going to say? I was going to say it even goes back to you know the whole more drugs thing. You, odds, odds are the people that are taking more drugs are the ones that have the fucked up blood work, and it's yeah. not doing it for your body anyway. Yeah. You know, because your, your body still has to absorb everything. So it's like the less you, you can get away with, with getting now, the I, result, these side effects is the better route anyway. I yeah. have a question for you here on the other side. Do you think that all the guys that have died had very bad blood work? Well, I know. John. Do you think George Peterson? Do you think George Peterson had that bad of blood work? I don't know. I, don't I know, know for a fact what I know for a fact what George was taking, and I know for a fact George had not started diuretics yet. That so, doesn't I mean, mean that doesn't mean his blood work. No, no, I'm just saying if his blood work was bad, I myself personally would be shocked. Okay, but See? but wait a That's minute. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm not saying blood work always tells the story because sometimes yeah. you can have good blood work and still have an issue. Hundred percent. But it's still something's better than nothing. Yes. So are we gonna? yeah yeah no i i agree but I, i'm just trying to find the holes in this is really what i'm trying to do there's, I gonna, know, be I holes, know. there's gonna be holes in it that's no no i like i like that you i like that you're doing that because that's what we need is a, a debate to make sure it's it's feasible but well, that's happening you're you're doing it so he doesn't have to do it this yeah so yeah, I, I usually look, i look like the, <laughs> i look like the drug pusher nobody else usually i'm the devil's advocate guy yeah so. <laughs> you just took control of the podcast everyone's like great let him fucking do it look, um, i mean obviously obviously as a pro bodybuilder if they did this it would be great for us because i mean we'd all would like look i'm not a heavy drug pusher but we'd all like to take less stuff yeah. if the parameters were lower and we could take less stuff and we know that we're doing better for our body we'd all be happy with it i mean no one's yeah. gonna be like I want to take more drugs. It's like, you don't want to take more drugs. No one wants to take more. You do it because you want to place better or you just, think you want to make your physique better. Imagine though, ima- imagine that, imagine does, the scenario in real life. Hope you place better or is it just causing more internal damage than actual result? Yeah. It depends on the person. I mean, it could go both ways. There could be guys that have, you know, taken more drugs and accelerate their physiques a lot. There could be guys that have just killed themselves. I mean, it's just like I said, when I asked the question about, do you think all the guys that died had blood, bad blood work? And I'm going to tell you that I guarantee you a lot of them had probably half decent blood work compared to a lot of the guys that are competing. So, you know, it's, that's what's like, is blood work telling the whole tale? Are we should making guys get, get, you know, cardiac CTs and calcium scores? Do they have to get an EKG too? Like, where do you draw the line now? You know? Okay. So I have a couple of things to add to it. They're also, I mean, in, in John's scenario, it obviously wouldn't have done anything because John wasn't competing. So that yeah. doesn't matter. But I was going to say in some And neither like, was Sean at the time. But I was going to say in Sean's scenario, let's say he was cleared to train. Well, your, or, your, 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 your audio, your stuff's getting a little choppy. Why? I wonder why. Is it good now or no? You're fine. I don't know. You, you keep pausing. No, you and Nick have been choppy. I think it's your connection, uh, guy. I hear, uh, I hear, uh, but fine. Yeah, I think it's your connection, guy, because I think they can hear me okay. Um, I was going to say, though, uh, Jersey connection shit. I was going to say, if you've had a previous incident, like if you've had a heart attack, that could also be a disqualifier. I agree. That should definitely be a disqualifier. You know what I mean? Like that way, if somebody knows, hey, I had a heart attack, well, I got to find another job. Like, because you can't be like, oh, I had a heart attack and I'm still going to go back and do a whole bunch of gear and get back on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so that could be something. And then the that was day. a lot of things people were throwing at me with Sean. And I'm like, listen, I'm not saying he didn't make a personal choice. I don't I don't know what he was taking, but I know what he was taking when he was competing. And it wasn't what a lot of people were saying. That was number one. And number two, I don't know what he was taking previously. But if he was taking stuff and he had a heart attack, do I think that was smart? Absolutely not. Yeah. And I'll tell anybody I don't think that was smart. That but was I'm his not- choice. 
I, I'm not, I'm you know? sorry. I didn't mean to use Sean as an example. I just mean anybody, if they, they're trying to set a new standard, yeah. one of, one of the standards should be, if you've had a previous incident like that, that that's, that that's serious. It would disqualify. Yeah. Like, listen, I have a hole in my heart and I had a high calcium score that I'm gone. I'm getting a CT angiogram done tomorrow at 845 in the morning that I scheduled before Sean uh, passed away. But I've been doing this stuff for years and there's a lot of things that I don't think these guys fucking do. And that's what bothers me. But I got to I got to ask you as this imagine the scenario in real life, like try and imagine it because I'm like thinking about when I was competing, if your blood work mattered to the point where you might not be allowed to get on stage. Imagine how healthy your lifestyle would be. Mm -hmm. Much more. I, I wouldn't be binging. Like, you know, how I fucking you'd be trying so hard to keep it down. Yeah. You'd be trying so hard not to eat shitty food or not to take fucking or like heavy orals or like shit that really like bodybuilders would all of a sudden become the healthiest fucking people on earth. Mm -hmm. No. 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 <laughs> They'd well, be healthier than they are, but I mean it's oh, okay. oh no, no. I thought you said I thought you said like like would become like still taking all the stuff. I'm like, no. Well, no, I'm just mean like if you're if your main objective in life is to make sure my blood work is perfect. Yeah. Fuck, man. That's like imagine uh, how like a 180 the fucking sport would do. Like I'm ner listen, I'm nervous as shit for tomorrow because I got my calcium score done in 2018 and it was high. And it, I, they did a nuclear stress, uh, stress test. They did an EKG. They did an echocardiogram. They did an ultrasound. My heart was fine. I passed a nuclear stress test. There was no blockages. But my buddy got a CT angiogram a couple of weeks ago and he had a lower calcium score than me. He changed his life way more than I did. Lost a ton of weight, was a bodybuilder. His calcium score went from like the 200s into the thousands. And I thought his would have been fucking nothing at this point because you can't make it lower. I didn't think it was going to increase. So I'm like, fuck, if yours was a thousand after 2018 and mine was higher than yours. And I made some drastic improvements and corrected some things on my blood work that the doctor wanted me to. And they have been fine since. But I'm like, man, if yours is bad, like, fuck, like I'm scared to even know what my mine is. And 99.9% .9 of bodybuilders that I've asked have never gotten a calcium score done. No, most Ever. haven't. I've had it done. Ian, have you had it done? Yeah, I've had one. I had one done four, I think four years ago now or three. It was zero. I had a zero calcium score. Yeah. And I had a 394 or 494. Yeah. Well, good luck tomorrow on your uh, angiogram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah, I'm getting one in January. You're getting one in January, Ian? Yes. I thought the angiogram, they wouldn't do it unless there was something specifically wrong. They like, wouldn't, which is why I paid out of pocket to get it because my insurance, my doctor said, you don't need it, your heart's fine. And I was like, yeah. well, you know what? This is the problem with a regular uh, calcium score, and I'm going to explain it to you guys why. This is what my doctor did. The Can problem with a normal calcium it? score is that Depending upon if the straw has fluid in it this way, or mm -hmm. you plug it and turn it upside down and put fluid in it this way, the calcium score tells you how much calcium is there, but it doesn't tell you if there's just a little bit running along the whole artery, or it doesn't tell you if it's actually building up. So a regular calcium score, that's why a lot of doctors won't um, get it because it can be very inaccurate. The most accurate way to do it is a regular angiogram. Yeah. Next to that is a CT angiogram where they inject you with dye and you get a CT scan done, which is what I'm getting tomorrow. That's so my regular calcium score was high, but the doctor's like, you can't be worried. He's like, because I've had people in the thousands. He goes, and you're worried about yours. He goes, but you could just have a little trickle of calcium running down and you have no blockages because we did a nuclear stress test. So that's why it's it's they don't really know that much about calcium scores because it's a very more of a new test. A lot of people never got tested for that. I did the CT angiogram five or six years ago, maybe now, because I had GERD. And every time, I don't know if anybody knows what GERD is, but yeah, it's when you're, you know, your esophagus at the bottom of your, uh, your sphincter at the bottom of your esophagus, not the sphincter in your asshole. Um, thank you. There's many sphincters. I said, like, you know the sphincter right here, not the one in her asshole. No, I, no, to his stomach. I, like, I don't know an asshole. From I, was the fucking I was telling Paul and I said sphincter to Paul. He goes, your asshole. <laughs> I said, no, man, your fucking sphincter right here. So uh, apparently when you have GERD, that, that sphincter doesn't close properly. So every time I would lay down, I would get like heart palpitations. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like if I ate and laid down, I would get heart palpitations. Really? So I told my doctor and they sent me for a fucking angiogram when I got to the fucking angiogram. So they got me all prepped and laying in the thing, the heart surgeon comes up or I don't think heart surgeon, heart doctor, I don't know. Cardiologist comes up and he's like, what are you doing here? You're too young to be here. I go, I don't know this and this and this happens. So he goes, it sounds like you have a, it sounds like you have GERD. And I'm like, 
what the fuck? He goes, you still want to do this? I go, well, I'm here. So he goes, okay. So they did it. And turns out I had a small blockage in one of the smaller arteries in my heart. Oh, so, so you, you, did they snap you? No, because I, apparently <laughs> this is, I don't know if this sounds really stupid, but apparently, oh, you told me this. It doesn't matter. Like the artery is not that important. So they're like, that's okay. <laughs> oh my God. You told me that. I was, was like, like, so if it's 100% blocked, you're fine. You're like, yeah. no, 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 it's not on. It was like 30 or 40%. No, but blocked. you said if it, if it, even if it was, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they weren't, they weren't concerned. It'll so reroute. Yeah, they weren't concerned. So they're like, <laughs> reroute the navel. The, 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 the ways, ways will figure something else out. Yeah, it'll use, it'll use ways. It'll use ways. Yeah. But the, but the more I talk to you, the more sick I think I am. Are you getting sick? You... <laughs> no, every time I cough and then I hear you cough, I'm like, that doesn't sound. But good. you've already had COVID. You, how can you, you're not immune to it. I thought you get like uh, immunity to it. I think there's like the Delta variant that I don't know that people. Are getting... Oh, the variants. Oh no, terrible. Yeah. It's not that bad, man. It's honestly like. If you didn't put a label on it, it would feel like I have like a bad cold, like an upper, like, like 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 a chest cold. Yeah, I didn't like... have I didn't have a bad cough like you or anything though. I'm not coughing that bad, am I? Yeah. No, but like your voice sounds like yeah. Fucked, yeah you know? My my throat's fucked up. My throat's really yeah. fucked up. That's why I had a sore throat yeah. and like headache, and then I lost my smell and taste for quite a while. That's been bothering me because I ate a pint of Ben and Jerry's last night. I couldn't taste it. Yeah, it was, was gone. Like, Mine was gone for quite I'm a while. Good. <laughs> <laughs> the first couple of days i had it i'm like i can still taste and smell everything i'm like i don't think i have covid because i didn't no. i didn't know i had covid until yesterday just fyi i hope you don't have it lo i lost my smell i lost it for 12 weeks 12 weeks i didn't smell yeah. taste anything really mine was gone well, for like at least six, seven weeks weeks it sucked yeah i don't want it goes for a while man I got to be able to taste, man. I can't. Look at how upset he's getting. But it's weird because like your nose won't be blocked at all. Like you can breathe perfect through your nose. That's you how I feel. Can't smell or taste anything. Wait, yeah, I have a yeah. question for you, Fuad, actually. Huh. Will you still eat the same fat fucking slob? Uh, I have like, been. Not, well, no, no, hold on. If you can't smell, yeah. are you are you still eating the same nonsense? Yes, because my eyes are really? so <laughs> <laughs> really? That's really. You, even have an easier, you have an easier way to but to unfuck your fatness and you're still eating like shit. I'm not fat at all, baby. I'm fucking lean. I'm lean and bean right now. <laughs> no, um Am I really coughing that bad? <laughs> oh shut up. That's nothing. Oh. I was coughing worse today. No, um You just said to me you weren't coughing, you fuck. Well, I'm coughing. I'm, okay, so this is the thing. When you have a cold, you cough frequently. Yeah. I'm not coughing frequently, but when I when I was coughing a couple of days ago, I was coughing stuff up. Yeah. So like I, I wasn't mean, I wasn't coughing a lot, but when I did, I was like, oh, that's gross. Like you know what I mean? That's what so, I keep spitting in my cup now. I'm fucking logs of nonsense. Yeah, are yeah, up. yeah. Yeah. I just loaded the vitamins up, man. I, I think I'm gonna be fine in a couple of days. Anyway, the food, I can still taste like 10 percent of it. So, so it's still worth it. It's still He's worth like, it. It'll, it'll I can taste worse, the ketchup, you know? so I'll just order a Big Mac. <laughs> Like, give, it, give it three days. That'll be gone. Can't taste the chicken, but I can taste the barbecue sauce. No way, I would yeah. be like licking barbecue sauce. He's like eating 20 nuggets. <laughs> you know how hard it is to be fucking quarantined and whole. I'm so bored. Like, I'm you know fucking... what? You're more bored. See, this is this is funny. You're only bored because you went to Texas and found out what it's like to do activities. No. And now <laughs> no, man, leave it... your house and have fun. Yeah. No, it's because. I don't leave the house except to go to the grocery store or the gym. Yeah. But I, but I really enjoy those moments when I get out of the house and go to the gym. Yeah. So I can't. It's one go... of those things that you don't realize what you have. Like a housewife. He's like a housewife. I, I am a house. Well, I work from home, asshole. I enjoy <laughs> going to the grocery store and going food shopping. And I enjoy my trips to the gym. <laughs> to do my Pilates. <laughs> you're, you're a soccer mom, bro. Uh -huh. No, but I think seriously. We all are by that standard, fuck. No, but like even such even small things like I go just sometimes I'll jump in my truck and go to Starbucks. I okay, that's I love you that you said that because we just became best friends. Why? I thought we were already best friends. Well, we are, but that just solidified. <laughs> because there will be days where I have nothing to do, no reason to leave my house, and I will drive 15 minutes there, yeah. and 15 minutes back home to a specific Starbucks yeah. just to make the drive there and back to be like, I went to Starbucks today. I have an espresso coffee maker that I love, but I still... I have two of them. Yeah. Sometimes I still just want to go get a coffee. We'll go to I have an espresso, yeah. I have a Verissimo, and I have a regular coffee pot. And I drive the Starbucks. The Verissimo is good. You know what? I don't like the Nespresso. 
the Nespresso, I, I have it, but I don't like it because I can't go to the grocery store and get the fucking pods. I got to order them on Amazon. I don't yeah. know if these are, these are the right ones. Did I ever tell you guys the story of the coffee maker I bought Melissa? No. This was like maybe two years ago for our like first wedding anniversary or something. And this was like when she was starting to like get into coffee. She was like really liking coffee. She wasn't really a, a coffee drinker until like two or three years ago. Wow. And she like really liked coffee, was getting into Starbucks, had her custom orders, like really, really was into it, drinking fucking 10 coffees a day. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, it's our first wedding anniversary. I'm going to go get her like the best coffee maker money can buy. This? Yes, that's what I have. What, what about this? Sorry, you. That's okay. Oh, I'll oh. let him. I'll let him show his thing off here. I don't know what's good. Hold on. I want the know. smaller. The smaller ones got easier to get the pods like anywhere. What about this? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that a espresso maker? A Mauricio. Who's, who's in your Who's in your house? Who's in my your buddy, house? My buddy Brian. Uh, okay. He thinks I'm an idiot. Yeah. No, I don't know what the fuck that is. I got the other one. <laughs> That's a. Yeah. How old is that oh, fucking fuck. thing? So throw this out. You want this? Yeah, chuck that shit. Throw it out, man. Go on, Ian. So anyway, you bought Melissa a coffee maker. Well, yeah. So I, I go online, like do my research. I'm basically just Googling like best coffee maker ever, you know, yeah. <laughs> like whatever I can. I end up buying this fucking like this crazy automated Breville that was like 4,500 bucks, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I buy like, the, most ridiculous, the most ridiculous coffee maker you can buy. Like it's got like a touch screen. You can like make custom drinks on it. Like it does everything. Yeah. Foams, fucking grinds, everything. It's all automated. Like the craziest machine, like something you would buy to put in fucking Starbucks, you know? Yeah, yeah. I buy this thing. It's like the craziest thing ever. I'm so excited to give it to her. And like, I'm like one of those people that I like can't keep a secret with gifts. I'm like, yeah. oh, I got you the best gift. You, I still want you to open it today, you know? Yeah. I was so excited about it. Thought I got the best gift ever. It comes to our anniversary. She opens it. Well, she sees the size of the box first and she's like, what the fuck is this? You know, the box yeah. is humongous. Yeah. And then she opens it, and, like, you could tell she was kind of like, oh, what the fuck is this shit? Oh, you know? no. like, and then we, like, plug it in, try to use it. Man, you need to, like, have a fucking college degree to use this goddamn machine. Yeah. So we kept it for a few days, like, tried to use it. The coffee tasted fucking horrible. It was like, you know, you would had, like, silt of, like, the fucking, like, uh, the yeah. powder coming through. Like, we couldn't get, because you had to, like, customize all the numbers, you know? Like, how long it would grind for, how long it would tamp for, like, how all these things. You know, nah. we fucked with it for like four or five days and the coffee, we just like, we were Googling. I'm like, yo, this is way out of our fucking league. And I just returned it. <laughs> I did Fuck. the same thing. I bought like, a, a, not the $4,500 one, but what's that? You just Starbucks, Starbucks app makes life a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ordered like the four or $500 Breville one, but you had to get the ground coffee beans. Yeah. And you put them in the thing and it would run, you'd run like real espresso, right? Yeah. Fucking tastes like shit, man. The yeah. fucking the grind would come through into the water and shit. And I'm like, yeah, that's because we don't know how to use it. Yeah, I know. I did the same thing. I just I shelved it. I fucking bought the Nespresso one. You just put the pod in. Done. It's way. Yeah. yeah. So I so I returned it, and then she got a Eve Sailor on bag, which made her much happier than a coffee machine. <laughs> a lot. You got her a lot. Your wife's like my wife, man. A wife, uh, Eve Sailor on bag. Eve Sailor. Eve Sailor on. Why is Yeah. Oh, oh, why is Okay. I. I told you. I thought you said e sailor. I'm like a whoa, whoa, whoa. yes, an e sailor bag. Yeah, yeah. That's how my wife is. She'll take a fucking handbag over anything any day. Yep. I'll take a hand job over anything any day. Hand jobs suck though, for real. I, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever had a good hand job though, for real? No, no. nobody does it better than fucking old fucking Jill. <laughs> the fucking hand job. Jill, yeah, Jill. Ian, have you ever had a good hand job? I think I might have had one, yeah. But you probably like, you're probably like 18. You're like, oh, this feels <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, I was like uh, 18 or 19. <laughs> Maybe even younger. I might have been like 17 or 16. Girls have to understand this. It's that not... nobody can do it better than ourselves. No, this yeah. girl yeah, was just do. like, she just went like fucking Ballistic. like lots of saliva on her hand and then full like machine gun, you know? Uh -huh. saliva. <laughs> saliva doesn't work though because then they got to keep adding saliva. Yeah. 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 No. Better with oil. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Nick. Nick. <laughs> Nick's like, get on your knees, bitch. What, uh, <laughs> what else is going on this week, man? Fuck, guy, you're getting sick, eh? Hey. There's a show this weekend. 
Oh, oh the Romania, the Romania Pro. Yep. All right, let's talk about it real quick. I like, actually, I got Samson. You one got second. one second. Fucking speed. Raphael. Speed. You got. Okay. Here I is. thought Raphael looked wild in the last show. You Mor- yeah. Morgan Este. Raphael. Yep. Quinton's uh, doing it. Jamie Johal, Samson, Quinton. A lot of the big names are in here. Uh, this guy's good. Go Danny, for Danny Sam for Kaganovich. Jesus, I don't know any of these. Uh, are a lot this of is guys. this is that twenty-two year old guy, Amir. Milan Sadik. Milan Sadik, yeah. He's good. Yeah, is he that is. it? Only twenty-three. Wasn't he? Uh, wasn't he a twenty uh, two twelver? Two twelve, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Three, four years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down more, is there more? What's that guy? Is I only see twenty-three. Is there more? I, I can't scroll down. I don't know why. Well, let me scroll down. Scroll over. There's an over button. No, but if I go over, it's just two twelve. Yeah, no, it's just, that's the whole lineup. I think. I think this is yeah, the lineup. Okay, I just wasn't okay, sure. Okay, so just who wants to go first? Ian, you like I'll going go. first. You like going first. Sure. Uh, okay, I have. We <laughs> playing top three, top five, whatever you want. Okay, well, in no order, it's definitely Samson. Well, that's no fun. Quentin. What? That's no fun. You have to go in order. Wait, I'm going to put them in order. Just you just said no order. I'm going to put them in order. Okay. <laughs> I'm just picking my guys here. Why are you so close to the camera, Nick? So I'm trying I, to just picture, trying to... I just took a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Raphael, Samson, and Raphael, Samson, and Quinton, I think are your top three. Um, and then after that, I think you have Amir, Milan, Let's just do three because I don't even know five of these guys. Okay, I'm going to go. Is there even a U.S. guy on here? No. no. I'm going to go Raphael, uh, Samson, Quinton. Damn it. Uh, that's what I was going to go. So you could just fucking times that by two bitches. Look, I, I think Quinton has potential to actually beat any of these guys. I just don't know if he's good enough from the back yet. Fuck no, I, I got thought- again. You got what? I got Samson winning again. You who do? You got se- who you got second, Nick? Uh, Raphael. And then who? And then Quinton. Okay, I'm in. I'm in with Nick. Yeah, I mean, it's either you could go either way with those two. I think that's a good bet. Yeah, well, I could go either way too. I was just, I was very, I thought Samson looked great. I was very impressed with Raphael at the last show. So I think this show, if Raphael comes in the same i think he'll, he'll he'll win this one they'll give it to him um i think fourth i'm gonna say sadek milan i, think, I yeah. think amir will beat sadiq milan i don't think so okay let's take that bet uh, amir oh amir. where did the b word come from well we're not betting i'm just saying i, I don't think Amir's okay. gonna beat milan. i'm just making sure oh this boy this boy and guy is good too boy and Ivanov. i didn't see in the bulgarian number 14 he's good too who's the other guy there's an arab guy I think Baruz, this guy, Baruz, I think he's good, isn't he? Pull up Boy in too. He's pretty good. Oh, he's showing his screen. I get so excited. Oh, he yeah, this great. guy. Oh, Look this at this guy. fucking guy. This guy's going to fucking blow people away, man. Holy well, fucking I think he's boy. one of these guys that looks crazy in pictures, but then doesn't quite convert to stage. But I think he, he'll be Dude, decent. If, if this converts to stage, that's fucking nuts. Yeah. Uh. Uh, what do you mean? Eh, look at this. Eh. Look at the fucking arms and shit. The small, tiny well, that's, and that's that looks Photoshop, first of all. <laughs> okay, that's, that's what a, he looks like. That's a good structure, though, dude. Yeah, but yeah, that's, but not, that's not good enough to beat those guys. No. If he's in okay, shape, right let's just shut the fuck up, guys. <laughs> well, go to go to Instagram and look up Boyan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go on his Instagram. One second, let's see what Bruce. Nick, you're like a 17 year old girl holding the phone right now. What do you mean? It was so close to your fucking head. Oh, well, I had to see okay, the this. People. Is, this is accurate. Yeah, I can see, see that. Not, that's, he almost looks like a little, 12. 212. Ah, I mean, nah, nah, wait like, a minute. No. Nah. Don't, don't shit that, on my boy. That looks yet. like it's no more than 222 pounds. No shit on my boy yet. Nice. No, he's small. I mean, he looks awesome, but. Edited to the nines, but go down. <laughs> that, that most muscular. What's that? One second. I want to see a video of him posing. Let's see. It looks like when, when he's actually moving. This that's a gonna, good structure. That's a two twelve. I'm gonna put him in 
third or fourth. What? He's going to be like 10th. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll be like six, seven. Okay. Look wait, at that most see. muscular. Wait, this is, yeah, this is small. Right. Yeah. See. Okay. 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 Calm the fuck down. I just like his shape. Oh, great shape. Too small. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so sexy. He looks like he used to be a two twelve guy that's moved up. Yeah, he's uh, he's got a he's got a really impressive shape. Nice shape. Mm-hmm. Super super nice physique for sure. Yeah. Okay, who's okay, the no, guy? No. Boran. B o y a n. B o y a n. Boy, like like, 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 like not Boulan, like Bouillon Cube, you idiot, not like that. This guy. <laughs> that is yeah. a photo. Boy, a yeah, Look at that photo. That big arms. Yeah, he's good. Look at that most muscular. Oh shit. I feel like he's small too though. No, he's Wait, he's decent size in person. I've competed against him. Have you? Oh, yeah. Go go to the real. One um, second. No, that guy's not small. No, he's he's pretty big. He's not tall. He's like maybe, you know, uh, I don't know, five seven, but he's uh he's, he's my he's, height. Yeah, he's your height, but he's not as muscled as you, obviously. But he's, he looks, he's good. he looks good. He looks good. Go to yeah. the next one over. Um, this one? What? No, no, no. Sorry. Which no. One? Which one? The, I can't. I can't see any. the real of him. The most muscular. Oh wait, the most muscular. This one. That's what I know. Which one are you talking about? I don't. I can't even see your clicking. You're moving so fast. The, the third. No, go up. Up. The one all the way to the left of him doing a most muscular. I just clicked. That's what he that. just clicked. That one. He's not. He, he does. Oh, literally, when you click it, your mouse on my screen is on a completely different one. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so I'm getting confused because yeah. I didn't see him hit the most muscular. No, we didn't wait that long. Yeah, he's got. Oh, nice I wanted to see it. So this is him here. Yeah, he competed once already this year. That's what I was asking you to click on. You said that's the most not muscular. A most muscular. It's a oh, they hit my my screen and his mouse aren't aren't. Oh, he is small. To... Look at this is Theo here. Look how small he is. He looks like he's behind, him, but yeah, he does look small there. He feels pretty tall though. So this is your standard. Like you look good by yourself, and then you, you're in a lineup. Like we talk about this a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. I don't you think know? he's gonna. I don't think. I think Baruz will beat him. Uh, oh. yeah. I mean, his conditioning here obviously needs to be is tighter. This, but is this Mil- is this Milan? No. I think that's no, Milan. No. Really? That's not Milan, no. is it? Milan used to come in peeled. That's uh, what I was going to say. I just looked I think at the, it might be. the back of his head looked like it was. Yeah. There's no front shots, right? No, there's no front shot of him. Hmm. Oh, that's well, that's Tim, but that's a different guy there. Different guy, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, okay. So we have our top three. Top three. You think Ian? You think Amir fourth? I'm going to take Milan fourth. I'm there with you too. With fourth, you said Milan fourth. Yeah, I'll take. Put me down with Milan fourth too, buddy. So Ian, okay. Uh, Who has to? We didn't figure out who has to get a piercing from last week. What was last week? Last week was uh, uh, Portugal. Prague. We all Prague, fucked uh, Prague, sorry, yeah, Prague. Yeah, we all fucked yeah, up. We all got fucked. Yeah, Nathan. You can just burn that sheet of paper. <laughs> I don't think anybody saw that coming, but congratulations no. to Sam. Congratulations to Samson for fucking yeah, you too, Samson. Getting his first win in his Olympic Olympia qualification. Have you talked to him since? Oh yeah, he's fucking on cloud nine, man. I told him I'm like, you don't need to do the Romania, Why man. Is I'm like, you doing this one. Oh, maybe he wants to just get a second win. Maybe he wants to get a check. Who knows? Maybe he thinks he already beat Rafael, Rafael so he can beat him again and get that that money. Yeah, I mean it makes sense, right? If if you already beat, I do it. If you already beat the guy, then why not? Yeah, I do. The, the thing is, I don't know how much Samson celebrated, and Rafael probably didn't celebrate. So, if Samson's condition is not the same as last week, it could be an issue. I thought Rafael's condition was pretty fucking crazy too. It was good. Yeah. yeah. Who coaches Raphael? Macedo. Macedo. Um, all right. You guys want to do a couple of questions before we go? Sure. Uh, oh, I, by the way, while we were on here, I got a text 
when we get off of the interview that I went in 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 on last night. So you guys can feel free to watch that when when this is done. Right. Oh yeah, watch what? that. Neat. I don't. I don't know if you heard what happened. I don't think I told you, Fouad. Who'd what you happened? go on an interview with? First of all, why didn't? First of all, why didn't you do the interview with me? It wasn't an interview. It was it, I got brought on last minute, and I fucking put, you know you just pull it up and go to the part when I when I start talking. I'll tell you. Oh, it was Dave? Be Dave was doing an interview with Stan, Sergio, and Chris Lewis, Brad Rowe, and um, uh, it was Aceto, Brad Rowe, Chris Lewis, Sergio, Stan, Stan. And so before it happened, I go, Stan, did you happen to watch the interview? With Sean Ray and Dave, I go. You might want not not want to do this interview, and he Stan watched it, and then while the interview was going on, Stan sends me the Zoom link to the to their their Zoom that they were on, without knowing, and I fucking clicked it, and I get brought on to the fucking to the interview, and then I get asked a question, and I fucking come in guns blazing, guns blazing. I've never went off like that in my entire life on a podcast. Well, and he said it. He said he was putting it up unedited. Yeah. So this was this was clearing Sean's name is what I was doing. Well, Sean Ray's got to come in, man. He's fucking. No, he blocked me. He put up that and he blocked me. All right. <laughs> um... You look like a rapper right now, Nick. <laughs> a rapper. The dog tags. You, you like you just <laughs> a joint and like <laughs> you look like a rapper. Yeah. Uh, you have an instinct shirt on. You swear you have an instinct t shirt. Is that an instinct shirt? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> it's the best, bro. Where the fuck did you find like a fucking three or four XL instinct shirt? Amazon. Oh, smart. You, you literally, literally, they have, you literally they went have to Amazon fans. and looked up in sync. Yeah. That's sick. You're the only guy that ordered that shirt. That's not a fat fuck. Do you think NSYNC is better than uh, Backstreet Boys? 100%. I don't know about that. What? Favorite song? I don't know. Timberlake's the yeah. fucking goat. So you got to give it to NSYNC. Justin Timberlake is, yeah, by himself, is the goat of the boy band people. Yeah. Of all the boy band guys, he's the only successful one. What's your yes. favorite NSYNC song? There's what's a your, lot. What's your favorite one, Nick? <laughs> Dirty Pop. What is it? Dirty Pop. I don't even know the song. Good housekeeping. Do we just become best friends? Want to go do cardio in the basement? In the garage? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I've never heard this song. Or it might just be pop. I'm not sure. No, it's okay, pop. Okay, now there's going to be a video with our faces singing this stupid song. Way to you go. Gotta play it. You gotta play it. One second. For like five seconds. I don't think you should play it. Need a little in your step, try this. Get the two get hype, and we'll do it to you every time. Come on now. You guys know this song, obviously. What the fuck, Nick? You know that song, obviously, right, Fouad? I don't know that song, but I can't see really? I can't see Nick. I, okay, so I knew the song. <laughs> I knew the song, didn't know the actual title. And the fact that Nick knew the title of it, and I knew the song made it funnier to me. <laughs> I can actually picture Nick driving around listening to that. Yeah, Fucking cool. Traffic. You just sit in your car and blast in sync, and you'll have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Guy in sync or Backstreet Boys? <sighs> oh, can I just say when we we're talking or about 98 degrees. Backstreet Boys came back and did a country song? Is that good or bad? Who cares? I'm a country guy. Um, I forgot to mention during our action oh, figure fuck. or action hero debate, John Wick. Oh shit! What, what about yeah. John That's Wick? Bad. John Wick is like the fucking primo badass. That's the go. What were we talking about again? Say? We're talking about the 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 baddest ass fucking action hero. I do you think. Okay, okay, do you think John Wick would be the equalizer, Denzel? Yeah, oh, Denzel's yeah. a badass, no. but I think no. John Wick's more badass. <laughs> Get fuck, the fuck, fuck out of Denzel's, here. Denzel's a cooler human, but John Wick's more badass. He yeah, can't John f- Wick kills like fucking 100 guys in that movie, at least. Yeah. Oh, wait, Denzel kills fucking a lot of guys like within six. like... He kills like six. Sex, seconds. Yeah, <laughs> like 13 John maybe. He kills like yeah. hundreds. Yeah. 
<laughs> he shot somebody in the head hanging off a horse. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but okay, but fucking equalizer was all hand to hand. He didn't have to shoot anybody. Yeah, but John Wick does that too. Yeah. Yeah, he was so slicing. Was I, so what, what makes him better? Just in the movie they made. He had he just John had Wick. To kill d- John Wick displays his range. You know, he can stab people, shoot people, hand fight. He's got it all. From Bro, horses, you know when cars. you're a badass when, you, when you're, you're you're more of a badass when you go like this one two three four five six seven uh, two, okay go no, but part of the part of the coolest <laughs> part about uh john wick is just the mystique that everybody knows yeah. he's a badass yeah That's no like- but don't you think it would be cooler knowing you're a badass in what you did and nobody else knows how no. bad of an ass you are no i think it's cool see you that. just like the clout I think the, it's better the whole world. You want people to know you're tough. No, it's like we were talking about with Branch Warren. You want people to tell stories about you. Yeah. Yeah, but Branch, fear, okay. fear is powerful when it comes to like fucking people up. You know, mm-hmm. if people are scared of you, they're less likely to perform well and fight you. You know, it's like Mike Tyson. Yeah, but if Mike people Tyson want to fight you, and, and and in the back yes. of your mind, you're like nobody could. No. If you, I would rather myself know than in the back of my mind. Nobody could touch me because I would fucking murder everybody because of like whatever skill I had. I'd rather know that and have nobody else know and have people try to test me. Oh no, I'd want everyone to know and be fucking terrified. Yeah. I'd rather have people just walk away. Like, no, don't fuck yeah, with that. Just guy. like fuck this. You know, I don't like, know you why? walk into a bar. Ian, Ian, this is I'll tell you why. What's too lazy to fight? I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> That's why he wants it because he doesn't want to fight. He just wants <laughs> to know that he'll kill you. That's right. And I can just move on with my day. Don't have to worry about yeah. it. Nick, Nick, Equalizer or John Wick or are you going to sleep? <laughs> I'm awake, you asshole. But I'm picking John Wick. Yeah. Yeah, of wow, course he's picking John Wick. One. You know what? You're Nick, all racist. Would, Nick, would you rather? <laughs> <laughs> We're all racist. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, yes. would you rather? people talk about you and know you're a badass or would you rather be secret badass i want everyone to know right i that was if you had to ask him that well i'm just making sure you know, i do that ask him that you don't know well how can yeah. you like it how can you like it when people talk about branch then don't you want to be talked about like tell what people tell stories about you there you do man you like it so you're just like us you're just trying to be difficult so you're john wick no, yeah. no, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about if I had, because I could. We were talking about superpowers, right? No, we're just talking about being a badass, fucking people up. They just okay, fuck. but I, it doesn't. I, it doesn't. John Wick doesn't if, have any superpowers. He's if people badass. thought I was a badass or people didn't, it either way, it doesn't fucking matter to me because I know what I am. Okay, that's really you nice. This fucking answer. What I a know. fucking stupid answer. I know. So I, I mean, listen, do people, people do people think I'm a badass? Yes. Do I think I'm this big badass? No, I'm just nobody lying. thinks you're like, a badass. I will fucking beat the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, but see, you don't you already people think you think that of you. So it's like it's the same with John Wick. People know and they don't fuck with John Wick because he's fucking John Wick. Yeah, no. but for all I no, know, no, no, the no. kids could have beat me up. There's a difference between people thinking you're tough and people telling stories about you. That's like yeah. another level. Yeah. yeah. Like nobody's yeah. telling stories about you, guy, but if, you know what I mean? Like, thanks. Twice. I'm just saying, like, well, <laughs> sorry. Is there, is there people telling stories about you? I don't know. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, that's a, another level up. Yeah. Yeah. I just think I sometimes the, the fucking, the, 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 the quiet killer. The is stealth, better than the stealth the fucking, one. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. I agree. Like, you can't hide think, from anybody. So I think fear, fear is like yeah. one of the most valuable things you can have in your arsenal is people to be scared of you like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's power. I'll tell you this. There might not be any scary stories about me now, but once I fucking have a little confrontation with Sean Ray, there'll be a lot of scary stories about Guy Sister Nino. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... Freight my physique. I wonder if I'm gonna get like a fucking. <laughs> What's the weirdest habit you developed in prep that you don't have in the off season? Oh, ordering shoes for no reason. Yeah, right. shop. Ordering shopping. fucking red shopping. Oh. I would order retro Jordans nonstop like a maniac. You know, I ordered. You know, I ordered four frying Dude. pans. One prep. <laughs> <laughs> you did. What? You just want to like. You want to like cook your food really well. Eh? I you just want, wanted. Like, I'm like. I want the best non-stick yeah. frying pan. I ordered four the best different. Shit. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You won't find it because I've yet to find one that's good. They all suck. No, yeah. T T-fow, Fowl's good. 
T Fell's the best. Oh, no, I, I've ruined I've ruined a million of those. How? Yeah, but they last for like normal pans that aren't like seven hundred dollars. Yeah. They're definitely your best bet. Yeah. yeah. One of my exes bought me uh, what are they called? Those cast iron ones. They're lodge. Oh, those uh, are horrible. Cast iron. Those, I don't I, like but those. they're like you have to like they you do have to like break them in and like yeah. Well, well you have to prep them. You have to put them cover them with oil and you gotta yeah, yeah you gotta do it properly. And it's you're not supposed to wash. You're not supposed to wash them 100. You're supposed to leave, no. You don't like, wash the meat in yeah. there. Like yeah, the oil's got to stay in this in the the cast iron. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to. It's that. too much work, man. Let's get the non-stick T-fowl. You're done. Just don't use any fucking steel on it. You should be fine. You should last oh yeah, the, my, my ex. She's like, you have to season it first. No season it. That's what you call it for for uh, yeah for the cast for, iron. Yeah. I'm like, you're yeah. teasing. I'm like, I, I can't just fucking throw it on a goddamn fucking. Thing. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, you can, but it won't work as well. Yeah, yeah she said, like, put oil in it for a little bit and like let it sit for. I'm like, this is. I just want to yeah. cook motherfucking. Food. Listen, one second. Nick's not even on the podcast. Nick's watching TV. <laughs> Bro, TV's off. <laughs> what were you staring at? <laughs> I was staring at the clouds. To be honest with you, let me see. <laughs> I was just staring outside. <laughs> I I dazed out. Oh, I found a fucking real estate agent in uh, Texas, man. I can't believe the houses and how fucking good, how affordable they are. Crazy, eh? Yeah. Yeah, man. I found a couple for like 200, 300, 400. What do you think of my idea? Yeah, no fucking sense. (laughs) Um, No, what do you think of my idea? I'm going to Airbnb for a couple weeks out of the month and then live there for like a week or two out of the month. I think people Airbnb and out of your place is going to drive you fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, but it'll pay the mortgage when I'm not yeah, there. Not, yeah, I think with how you are, I I don't I don't like Airbnbs. Like like somebody said, why don't you just keep your house and get a house in Texas? Yeah, I don't feel like the people will treat my house the way I would treat it, and it would get ruined, and I would have to do too much to constantly fix it up. Where but, I would want to do that. Yeah, but I got a question get- for you. So wait, you're saying half the month you be there? So wait, you're going to fly back Canada every two weeks? Well, like I'll fly there once a month. Yeah. Not being double, not without being double vaxxed. Well, not at the moment. Hopefully this double vax shit ends soon. Unlikely. How long do you think, uh, it, how long do you think it'll last? Yeah, I can't mandate, forever. can't mandate this shit forever. Man. It's not normal. Cause, forever, bro. Because uh, Pfizer's coming out with a pill or some shit that's supposed to help. Why is my hat so like? We can't help your penis problems, Fuad. <laughs> <laughs> Pfizer's already got one for that. Pfizer's <laughs> coming out of pill that's going to solve the problem. <laughs> yeah, that's called okay. Viagra. <laughs> okay. Anyways, you don't think it's a good idea? What? Yeah, it's a great idea. Do it. You're an idiot. What? Oh, the idea. I thought you meant taking the pill. I, I didn't know if you're talking about taking the Pfizer pills. A good idea. Or I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the fucking Airbnb in the house. Yes, yeah, I do it. Buy a house in Texas, or just buy a fucking condo and then not have people rent it off you. Yeah, I thought that too. Or or the two weeks you don't live there, I could just go there and visit and I won't pay you shit. I'll just keep it clean. Yeah, but that, yeah. there's no point because the whole point was for us to be there together, guy. Oh, well, I'm yeah, just saying true. for now, for if you do it the now. The point is to bring us all together. No, I'm moving there. I'm just saying if you do it before me, then the two weeks you don't want to be there, I'll fly in and take care of it while I look for houses. And pay half the mortgage. Suck up, fucking bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think this fucking mandate shit's going to end? Why don't we just get, well, Governor Murphy just got reelected and is yeah, like well, throwing mandates out the window now. Like we got to be at the wear mask here, and I'm like, you're so stupid. We'll keep everyone keep their homes as they own them now. We'll go buy like a million dollar fucking compound, meathead, meathead it, mansion, and we'll split just it like eight ways. It'll be nothing. We'll be paying like four hundred dollars a month on the mortgage. Yeah, and then we'll just or we'll buy like a big property like Ben has and have like four houses on the property. Yeah, that. If you motherfuckers are dirty, I'll kill everyone. No, no. If we buy like God. four houses on a property, we don't have to live. Yeah, together. we'll buy like like a bunker. Acres. We'll buy like a hundred acres and each build a little home on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you okay. go. We can fucking fuck around and shoot guns and drive. If fucking you guys easy. only had one key to give one of the podcast members to get into your house whenever you weren't there, if needed, who would you give it to? Ben. Uh, James. Wait, what? I didn't even know who said what. Ben. Yeah, better, better, James. I'm going, guy. Guy will fuck somebody in my house and like leave. <laughs> uh, leave. I will allow guy to fuck someone. I will fuck somebody in my. No, he'll fuck somebody in my bed. <laughs> no, guy will. No, guy will come in. Bad, he'll smoke. Bad. He'll guy do it. Come on, in, smoke on my weed. He'll do it on purpose. No, I'll be like, who has on here? Fuck him. <laughs> you guys let me know how fucking 
how 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 truthful and unshady I am. And one thing I'd fuck in his bed. One thing I'd steal his weed. Nick's like, come in and do whatever you want. I could you I could totally see you doing that. I would never 100%. do that. Fuad's not here. I'm gonna fuck somebody in his bed for sure. I could see you doing. No, that. I think Guy would be a very good house sitter. Have you ever banged anybody in your <laughs> in your parents' bed? I can't answer that on fucking. Yeah. <laughs> what are you asking? Yes, that's I what I was going to say. Yeah, oh, your parents? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Does yeah. anyone want to answer? No. no. I'm not answering that. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, the fact that nobody's answering literally just answered the whole fucking thing. Answered place. everything. I actually don't think I have. Look at the, look at the veins in Puat's head. <laughs> I, I don't think I have in my, any of my parents' bed. I have in other people's parents' bed, but not my own oh, parents' bed. God. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm not gonna. Yeah, like I've been at, at like house parties where I'd like in in someone else's bed, but never in my own. Yeah, we heard about your house party experience. I almost threw up next to you. Thanks. Whose house party experience? The fucking period explosion. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told that on the podcast. Melissa's <laughs> well, here. She's like, what? Oh uh, no! I thought she was in the room when you, you know told the story. She no, she she left. She left just before he told the story. No, she knows. It. Oh really? Oh. oh really? Uh, Melissa, I love you. It wasn't about you. I love you, guy. I need a new husband. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You might have to. You might have to cut your feet off and sh- shrink a little. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How long does a pair of boxer briefs last, everyone? This, until guy says, holes what brand they are. this guy says, until I blow, they have holes wait a minute. This guy says, I blow through a pair in the middle in a couple months. Like, who the fuck? What? In a couple months. Hello? Then Yo, buy ones that are not size, fucking... Bro. What are you wearing? I don't know, man. Lululemon. Lululemon boxers that are four or five years old. Yeah, they last forever. See, I have... Okay, so I went from Under Armour, which lasts very long. Fuad they says they smell. They stink. Fuad, yo, you're right. Under Armour smell the worst by far. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> guys, go to smell is. Hundred <laughs> percent. You're. That's so funny. I have two pairs of Under Armour ones, and they're always the last ones in my drawer because I don't want to wear them oh. unless I like. I, there's nothing else left because they smell the worst. They leave a funk even after you wash oh, them. Like, you wear them smell. one time and they just fucking smell. What part I have the smell? exact same ones. I the did whole part. The, the whole thing. This is the ball sack. What part the, smells? The whole thing smells. The whole like thing. The, just the material itself smells. Oh my god! Oh, your balls. smells like nothing. You have balls on your face. This now. is the ball place here. <laughs> you have nutsack face. This is the taint. I don't smell anything. Maybe I have COVID. Maybe yeah, you have COVID. You can smell yeah. it. <laughs> no, they definitely smell the worst. No man, that material. If you sweat a lot, it oh, hold just, on. So I'm switching now. Pair of thieves are phenomenal. Nothing's better than Lulu's. Do you even know what I'm referring to? No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, okay sh- you don't even know what you're talking about. I have but to I- give it to them though, and I'm, I'm not like some uber fan of the brand or anything. But Jed North actually makes really good boxers. I've never tried them. I have. Well, it depends. They have some that are kind of like the Under Armour ones, which I don't really like, and then they have some that are like more the silky Under Armour ones, and those ones are as good, if not better, than the Under or I than the uh, uh, Lulu ones. Sorry. That's the thing. I don't like that silky feeling. That's what I like about the Lulus. They're stretchy, but they don't have that silky feeling. We, you know, we That's should do silky. <laughs> Not really. You should talk to Michael. Okay, well, that's making... what I mean by silky. Is that kind of more like spandex yeah. material? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should talk to Michael and get fucking collaborated gasp and yeah. better bodies. Dude, I wear the gasp. Like... No, those gasp and better bodies classic shorts. I wear those as underwear all the time. Really? Yeah, the black yeah, ones. But really, yeah, but see, I like I I don't like a super short boxer brief. I like them to be like mid thigh, and those uh, are really short. No, I like them short, man. Well, they're only mid thigh oh, really? on you because you're so short. They're normal for all you're of such, us. You're such a. <laughs> Wait, no, they're short for me though. Yeah, that's true. No, because you're getting normal size boxers that for us would be short. So you're saying they look short, but for you they go to your mid thigh. Yeah. No, but the gas ones don't. I like when they go to my mid thigh. He's just fucking with you. Um, I know he is. <laughs> Melissa says they'll go to your ankles. That's not. That's just a short joke. We all know my quads are bigger than Fuad, so we already established. That's that. true. No, we we took a poll actually. We took a poll, and I won sixty forty. Forty. Yeah, Fuad won. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. But how you did they? post it on your? Instagram. No, guys. People voted. Okay, hold on. People this is voted. how we're gonna do it now. Now. 
you have to send me the video. Yeah. And the I'm the video has been posted already and proven. And he is it. such a one sided <laughs> fucking turd. No, it needs to be posted on guys as well to like. And then, uh, yes, yeah. and then think, we'll take the difference. Then we'll see what the difference is. I think the, the you winner, don't ever do anything there. The winner's already been established. We don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, has already should, I, should I bring should I bring this back like wearing hats like this? It won't work. It looks no, like it's Rolly Winkler, Winkler already did. Yeah. It's all, you think it's if we all. get C, if we get C bum to start wearing hats like this, it'll catch on? I don't think no, I, I don't think that'll work. I want to see him actually. I, I think try if that. we got Chris to start wearing hats like this, it would work. I don't think so. Jay Jay did it for a long time. That's what Jay, Jay did. Jay, Jay wore it like this. Yeah. yeah like, like that. that. Yeah. 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 Like Yeah, that's gone. I don't think it. No, Jay did it. Like the problem is, yeah. see the size of these. I can't. I can't really get that whole ear to not bend. So I can't rock the hey, bro. When I was when I was young, I used to have like the, short, the spike. I used to have the spiky hair at the front. You know, I'd have a like spike me. at the front, and then you I'd wear, wear it my like hat that like above it. Like, oh no, you didn't. Yeah, you look. Oh, you were like, that dude. You look like, like a little this. white kid. I'd have it spiked up at the front, and then I'd have my hat above it. You know. But no, did you, you actually do your hair with the hat on? No, I just spiked just the front of it, and it would be so high. Like, I'd spike the front, and then I'd wear my hat. You're lying. Yeah, when I was, like, 12. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was, like, 20. <laughs> so you're, like, 20. No. That. <laughs> I, I, do like that. I do that with my hat all the time. I'm always throwing my hat just, like, on my head, and people always make comments. A guy always touches his hat, but I, I never, like, gelled the tip and then, like, yeah, when I was like middle school, like grade seven, eight, maybe nine. William Blue had trying to think. He's like, with that triangle on the top of my head, did I ever rock? Let me see if I can find behind you. I think I have a picture. Um, question. Can you still yeah. see me when I close this? No. No, it says E N Valley Air. E N. E N. Last question. Ask your me? question. He's looking, he's looking for a picture. Oh, question. If you woke up in 2040, what would, will you Google first? Porn. What the fuck happened? <laughs> Porn? Yeah. So you fell asleep today and you woke up 20 years later and okay. the first thing you look up is porn. Yeah. Can you get blue porn. balls in your sleep? Huh? I said, if you can get blue balls in your sleep and I woke up 20 years later, I'd want to fucking let one lose before I did anything. There's no fucking way that's true. Well, I would wonder uh, how how porn changed over the past years. You guys are both <laughs> lying. <laughs> I said that pretty fast. That porn porn will change that much? How do you think porn? Do you think porn will go back to like having a bush? Like girls go back to having a bush on their. I mean, it's start, start oh, to go that long time. Hey, by the way, you know what? There was a news article. People always make fun of me. Oh. Wearing wired headphones is starting to become a trend, and everybody's telling me to get fucking wireless headphones because no, I chew them. No, all that's not, that's not going to come back. That's stupid. No, wireless, wireless, wireless headphones suck. No, they don't. Wireless headphones are great. No, they they're quieter balls. because they aren't driven driven by the thing, and they're fucking like when you take them off, there's nowhere to put them. You put them back in their case. No, I like when I'm like at the gym, I just like let it dangle, you know. Bah, bullshit. Bah, bah. <laughs> Okay, anyway, wow. I'm, I'm with Guy on this one. So, back to the porn. Are, are the girls, what, what do you think the girls are going to look like? I don't know, man. That's why I'm going to look up porn first. Well, well, I think well, it, well it's, 20, it, it's 2021. We have girls becoming guys, guys becoming girls, different oh, fucking true. Guys, like gender sex. In 2040, I would Google do humans still exist. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think of what porn looked like 20 years ago from now. Uh, but that was only the year porn. 2000. Porn was almost the same in 2000. Well, yeah, there was still shade. Push. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even say that with a So you have to go back like 40 years before you get like Bush. And yeah, like, you got to go back to like the 90s or earlier. Like, for like Debbie does like Debbie does Dallas. Yeah, like cone chips. Got a bush. <laughs> yeah, cone tips, yeah. Cone tips and big bushes. Cone tips and fucking perms. <laughs> Melissa's, roll Melissa's rolling her eyes at you. <laughs> Are you bringing back the cone tits and bush, babe? <laughs> I don't mind some vintage porn which from time to time. Yeah, because like, we already know you like bushes, so that's okay. I like yeah, but little, I don't want to stick my hand down. I like, a little, I like a little bush. Yeah. All right, but I don't want to stick my hand down a pant and feel like I'm fucking rubbing my, my fucking beard. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying... Has, every, I'm not if, saying I, if I don't know bush versus beard, there's a problem. No, no, I'm not saying everywhere. Just, you know, I don't like it completely bald. 
I like, like a landing little, strip or just like like we a already had this thing. No, I know, but it's like a scratch and sniff. Nick, what'd you say? Nothing. No, nope. bald. Nah, I like a little bit. I don't. I don't want to be. I don't want to pre-pubescent fucking shit. I want a little bit of something there. Nah. Do, oh, have you always been like that, or where, where does it change as you get older? I flip. I go through phases. You go through phases, yeah. Yeah, it'll be like for one year, I'll be like, you know what, just go all the way out, and then for one year, I'll be like, let's leave a little bit. Like you don't no. want no like hairy butthole. You just want like a little. I like, don't want any hairy. No, I don't want a mess. I don't want to mess. Okay. It's still got to be. You just want like a little tasteful, like groomed something. Yeah. Did it's... you just ask him if he wanted a hairy, <laughs> hairy butthole? What? Well, I the... want to know. I want to know how deep his hairiness went. Who the fuck wants? I mean, a hairy that should butthole? be always hairless, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't want fucking seaweed in your butt all year. I want that thing fucking yeah, no. clean. On the reg. Do you guys? <laughs> do you guys? Do you guys miss cone tits, or do you like the round tits? No, I like round boobs. I like round boobs. I don't want that cone shit. I kind of like the cone a little bit. What? what? Just a little bit. You're, you're, doing, bro. you're, just you're getting old, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just different. It looks no, little... it's <laughs> differently ugly. No. No, it depends. depends. I mean, sometimes if you're looking depends. like you know, depends. like you know when like girls wear like the like open sh- like like a shirt like a dress or something that's like cut down the middle and they kind of have like. You know, you don't want like big round boobs and that. That's different, you know? No, I like a little bit of a scoop. A little bit of a scoop. Yeah, yeah. I can do that. Like torpedo. No, like, no, not torpedo. Torpedo's out, like directly out. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. oh, Out to the side, no. though. <laughs> you're talking more, you're talking more like ski jump. Yeah, talking, yeah, like banana, like a little scoop. Yeah. <laughs> Just like natural. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> Nick is disgusting. It's fucking guy, man. <laughs> That's no good. Yeah. <laughs> Big nipples or small nipples, guy? Well, it's got to match the two. Baby toes. I want baby toes. You know, baby toes? Yeah, baby I don't toes? want fucking... No, like I, the, I don't like, need fucking... Like the areola. Do you want it to be clear, dark? I want it to... I want it... Listen, open a Hershey kiss. That's what I want to see. Okay. That's a good example. Well, what if you... Like that size on this big ass giant titty, it looks weird. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, in ratio, that's fine, but I don't need fucking salami or pepperoni fucking slabs. Yeah, but if, if you have a huge boob, then a salami is not bad. It, it, it'll look like you're. Nah, uh, I don't want salami. I don't need fucking. Very rarely are you going to see a girl with a massive tits with small nipples because as the boob grows, the nipples going to stretch. Yeah. Uh, your, your, your areola can't be. <laughs> <laughs> The areola. When I open my mouth, I should be able to get the whole nipple in my mouth. You want to get the whole thing in your mouth? That's what you want to do. I just yeah. eat the. No, no. I'm just saying. When I'm sucking on a tit, I shouldn't be like. <laughs> get the fucking areola. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Okay. Well, I, I like the size areola. You like what? A good size. What's, What's a, good a good size? size? Like the bottom of a coke can? Wait, can you Google like good size? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, like, like, like this no, is a little bigger. See, what is that? A tin of oh, chew, your yeah. Tin of chew, yeah, yeah, that's too a good big. size. No, no that's too big. Size. Depends how big the boob is, man. Depends it's how big the boob. boob. That's a big areola. Yeah, that's the ratios matter because, like, if you had a girl that's flat as a pancake with a nipple that size, it might look weird. But if you had a girl with like, you know, double pretty D. big, that's boobs, called a man. That's called that's called a man, and. <laughs> my name's not Ann, you fucking idiot. And fucking yeah. idiot. You know what? We've been out here God. for how fucking long you're gonna still crucify me for this? And I mean, but you literally Ann. that time that time you literally said Ann. Like it you sounded like A N A N because when I'm talking fast, I have to, my brain has to stop and think of with the e- Ian and I, I have to my thoughts. It's to still the same, eh? He's still Ann. so it's so muscled out. He has to try so hard to say Ian. 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 You guys are fucked up. Ian. Man. Ian. My name is fucking Ian. <laughs> fucking Ian. Ian. Yeah, there. I'm saying there it right. Ian. Ian. There. Perfect. Ian. Fucking Ian. Yeah. Ian. Got it. Okay. Ian. My name's not Ian. Ian. It's Ian. So don't do that, Fuad. Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. My fart shit separator is going to fail, and I'm not going to. I'm going right. to start fucking spitting out All the right. wrong stuff. All right, guys. We should end on that note. Now are we that we all answer, know. are we going to answer one question before we go? We did answer a question. Like three. We, answered, we answered it. Yeah, we answered what we would do and if we woke up in 2040 and you all said you'd look at porn. No, Nick said that, and then we talked about porn. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Well, I'm good with that answer though. <laughs> well, what what would you be looking for? You didn't answer that. Yeah, guy, what are you looking for? No, you got Fuad. I said, is, do the human race still exist? Uh, Why fucking twenty years the fucking human race still exist? I would. The first thing I would be, I would write is, what the fuck happened? I. That's the first thing that I said. No, that's you said, does the human race still exist? No, no, no. When you said, I would, I would write, what the fuck happened? Oh, well, then I agree with that. That was the first thing I said. You yeah, would write that Google. No, yeah, but then I, it, no, but then I changed my answer because if you wrote in Google, what the fuck happened, it wouldn't really say anything. That's what I'm saying. That's stupid. They'd be like, what today? Well, it'd be like, guess, what the fuck? Happened? Be like, what I happened guess, between 2021? To I guess the first thing I would write is, what day is it today? And then I would be like, what happened in the last 20 years? Yeah. That's yeah. that's. Meanwhile, Nick's on X. How are you trying to X, judge what X, I? You're com. like, what does porn look like? Because that's. <laughs> That's exciting. Well, I'm not saying I still I'm just telling you the truth. That's what I would I'd be like, <laughs> what happened? I'd be like, I want to know. Well, actually, yeah. you know what? If I just woke up, I would Google my parents and see if my if my my family and see if they're still alive. Well, that's, actually, that's if that's I just woke happened. up and I didn't know any better, I would just go on Instagram and it'd be like, What the fuck were all these people? Because it'd be 20 years later. Yeah, that's true. I would have no followers. I was gonna say if you log on, I don't think you're gonna just have an Instagram 20 years later. Like it's like you yeah, know? my phone would be obsolete. It probably wouldn't even work. Well, you haven't paid your phone bill in 20 fucking years. I don't think it would work. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, wait. Is it that you fell asleep and woke up 20 years later? Like it just it was a freak thing? Or you actually slept for, for 20 years? I deleted the question. You were in cryogenesis for 20 years. I see, that's Let's just cool. say you passed out and you woke up 20 years later. Yeah, so, the, so 20, so 20, uh, so, so like I fell asleep today and I woke up. Uh, 2040. What's the yeah, first thing you if you've been asleep for 20 years? If my Call phone God. didn't if my she phone gives did... a good answer, she's like, I'd look for you. Oh, that's ah! wait. That's I said I see my parents are still alive. Nobody said all to that. Yeah, fuck you, guy. It's my but wife. You said that was like your tenth answer, though. <laughs> that was her first. Your she tenth your tenth answer was I would look for my parents. That's how not important they are. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> You're like, I look for porn. That's why, hold <laughs> on. That's why I, Simon, that's why I asked, did 20 years actually pass? And like, everybody got older? No, you fell asleep and woke up. This is getting confusing as shit. What the fuck are yeah, you talking I'm about? Awesome. Oh, Obviously, if 20 years passed, 20 years had passed. Yeah, but we I'm should. just saying, like, it didn't happen gradually. You fell asleep today, and you woke up in 2040. So I was, so I'm actually 20 years older. Yes. Okay, like, then I would like, Google. Just, say, I you, would just Google. say you're in a coma for 20 years. Okay, then the first thing I would do is see if, who in my family's alive. Okay, yeah, I'd probably look for my wife. Look, I, I like Melissa's answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> he just wants I to end on my note. If I've been gone for to... 20 years, I don't even know if I'd want to look because she'd be like remarried with a fucking family and kids. I wouldn't want to see that shit. Yeah. Wait, she, if that happened, wait, wait. If if you were gone for twenty years and she couldn't find you and you came back and she was remarried, would she kick the guy out and stay with you? No, she'd be on to the next guy. Didn't we just watch this on a TV uh, show? What <laughs> show was it? Oh, Manifest. Yeah, that was only five years though. She did kick no, out. like like Castaway, like Castaway, yeah. like you come home. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, Melissa, what do you do? Yeah, but twenty years is a long time. I'd be like, what do you do? Twenty years. That's a long time. Ten. All right, ten. All in love and like, like I feel like twenty years you'd have new loyalty to your new family. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because we haven't been together for twenty years. Technically, you have more time. Five, 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 five years. Five, I would dip. dip. She said she'd dip on them for five years. Ten. I'm trying to find a threshold here. Okay, but now we're getting like now I can't answer like confidently. Well, you got to think to yourself. It's going to take a year. Never find someone again. I might she'll be get, she'll get over Ian in like, like a year, and then it'll no. take her, it'll take her another year to meet somebody new. So two years, no. and then no. she'll be with that guy for eight years. So that'd be enough. She won't take him back after that. Yeah, you won't take me back. No, you'd be looking for longer. You no, you, babe, you're an attractive female. You'd be fucking banging someone in six months. Come on. What are you, who do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> she'd be like, I'm over it. On to the next. Yeah, on to the next one. Some oh some fucking. Some hunk, the hunk would come in. You'd be like, "Oh my god!" He's like, "What does the barber say?" Next, 
Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You're, you're I'm gonna go. I gotta. I gotta take some medicine and fucking eat some yeah. food. I gotta go get All checked right. for COVID. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Okay, guys. Next See week. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.